high noon. The Cardinals will kick off against the NEO Golden Norseman in an SWJCFC contest, the regular season finale in the 45th meeting between the two teams. The Cardinals are seventh overall ranked in the nation, and NEO is winless at 0-8 and 0-6 and and in conference play. The Cardinals being 6-2 and in conference uh, in, uh, on the season and 4-2 and in conference play, and the Cardinals lead the overall series 24-20. to I'm Benny Rogers. I'm joined by Joy Snowden and Marcus Dowell. And, guys, I'll bring you guys in. The Cardinals are in pretty good shape as it, when it comes to making the, the regional playoffs next week. Uh, out of the six scenarios, five of them are in their favor, so I like those odds. Exactly, and basically it's a situation where you win and you're in. So not much more to, to tell everybody, but right. you got to win to be in. The scenario in. that uh, you know it, it would probably happen or most likely to happen is I think that Trinity Valley will probably travel to Tyler and play TJC next week if Tyler can – pull off the victory against Navarro. But that might be hard. It might be. But if Navarro does happen to win, the Cardinals will be at home next week. A lot something they win against Navarro in a rematch of a game we saw a couple of weeks ago here at Bruce Field. So we'd really like to have yeah. that happen. Yeah. <laughs> to say both I'm gas, but <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, but uh, hey, I'm looking forward to an exciting game today. It's really a blessing to be here today. It's a beautiful, gorgeous afternoon for yeah. college football. Uh, I think the high today is supposed to be in the 80s. We've got wow. a We've got a southwest wind blowing in today. So, you know, the wind's blowing. As I look at the flagpole right now, the wind's blowing pretty steady out there, Benny and Marcus. Oh, yeah. you got to wonder. If it's a southwest wind. Like the last time we experienced was a north, when the wind was out of the north, it was a crosswind that way. Yeah, you might have some uh, issues with the kicking game also with that wind if it keeps up uh, as it is. I think it's 15 to 20 miles an hour for some gust are right now. So Well, I don't know my north, east, south, west stuff. I know it's blowing. <laughs> it's just blowing. Over. Well, we'll, we'll keep you straight, Marcus. Don't <laughs> worry. We'll, we'll keep you straight on that. So, looks like the Cardinals are going to be in their gray tops, red bottoms, black helmets outlined in red, or they'll have red numerals on. Uh, a little sharp look right there. Oh, it is, and any O's decked that in the all whites with the gold numerals and gold helmets and have a kind of a – you see uh, UC, uh, US, UCLA or Notre Dame look to them a little bit today. Yeah, yeah. And uh, Trinity Valley looking like the Texas Tech Red Raiders in a way. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Folks, we do have a football game coming for you at high noon. We're about 25 minutes away from kickoff. But coming up before then, we're going to have the crowning of the homecoming king and queen here. This is homecoming weekend at uh, Trinity Valley. We inducted four new members into the uh, – Cardinal Hall of Fame earlier this morning at a breakfast over at Athens Country Club, a very nice ceremony, and now we'll have the crowning of the homecoming king and queen. As soon as that starts to happen, we will turn it over to the public address announcer, Tom Sherum, to lead you that through that, and then we'll be back to guide you to kickoff. You're watching the Trinity Valley Community College Cardinal football on the Cardinal Sports Network, and we'll step away for these messages and be right back.
School, majoring in business management. Valentina is an officer of the Student Government Association and is representing the Cornets. She is the daughter of Roger Tovar. Miss Valentina Tovar. Policy 
Good afternoon, Cardinal fans, and welcome to today's broadcast from the Cardinal Sports Network. Trinity Valley Community College Cardinals versus the NEO Golden Norsemen. And uh, today, this is about Trinity Valley Hall of Fame Day. It's been a special occasion here for everyone. About to have the coin toss in the middle of the field. And our own Benny Rogers will be going down towards the... Uh, middle of the field here in a minute I believe I think Benny's behind well Benny is behind me I, I am wrong he is here I think he just went to show some maybe he just had to guide somebody he had to guide somebody to the field probably but uh, I'm back in live he's back live so uh, and, and out of breath I thought she might have been cloned for a second yeah. but uh, we have Nate Richards accompanying our Cardinal captains out today Nate was inducted into the Cardinal Hall of Fame earlier this morning in a ceremony at Athens Country Club his awesome. youngest son Graham is out there too awesome what a young, memory for that young man. So you ate your little good breakfast this morning, too, my see. They're going to let Nate toss the coin. How cool is that? Uh-oh, Nate. NEO takes the field. Trinity Valley already on the field. He's going to good flip, Nate. <laughs> well, NEO uh, brings their band today. And yeah. Got a little uh, Texas versus Oklahoma there going go. on today. Oh, Can't go man. wrong doing that. Yeah. Just to the Cardinals and the Golden Norsemen. That's NEO won the toss and deferred to the second half. The Cardinals get the ball to start the game, Joey. Well, I'm glad. I wanted to get the ball no matter how they get it. I wanted <laughs> them to get the ball and go on offense first. So, Trinity Valley be going from our left to our right. Gray tops, red pants, red numerals, black helmets. NEO all in white, decked out with the gold hats, gold camera. numerals, outlined in white, I believe. My camera crew keeps us close to those numbers. Zoom us in. So the Cardinals come in averaging 32.1 points per game, only allowing 23.9 points per game. They're averaging 426.6 yards per game, 155.4 uh, on the ground, and 271.3 passing yards. Yeah, uh, yeah, the rub is if you look on the NEO side where their problem is this year as far as the offense goes. Defensively, they're playing pretty solid. In yeah. Fotee talked talk about that this week when we, when we visited. But uh, offensively, they've struggled this year. Yeah, offensively, they're uh, only scoring 7.5 points per game. Wow. Uh, they've allowed 30.6, averaging 152.8 total yards per game, 79.6 on the ground, and 73.1 passing. And, and those numbers right there will not win you uh, a, a lot of ball games, <laughs> as it's indicative of NEO's record coming into today's contest. But uh, you can't never right. count a uh, – 0-8, 0-6 team out at all. And this is one of those games you can't overlook at all because this right here for Trinity Valley gets them into the playoffs. Absolutely. There's no need, no help. No help needed. Oh, it's just a beautiful afternoon, though, isn't it, guys? Oh, it is a gorgeous afternoon. The sun is shining. And the only thing I'd have different is the clouds covering the sun so <laughs> I can see better. Well, it's not cold. There's the kick, fielded at the two-yard line. And that's uh, Waquan Lowman on the return all the way out to the 23-yard line. The Cardinals will set up shop first down and 10 at their own 23. Pretty nice return. We're expecting that uh, Darion Peace will be back at starting quarterback for the Cardinals today. He missed last week's game due to a shoulder injury that he suffered in the game you guys called over at Kilgore a couple of weeks ago. But uh, we must mention that Matthew Duncan will play today. I talked to Poe about that, and Matthew will play. And he played a really nice game against the New Mexico military last week in a 39-33 Cardinal win. Yeah, he's 32 for 50, 546 yards to the air and three touchdowns. And then the piece is 102 for 178 and 534 Yard, I mean, excuse me, 1,534 yards in the air, 10 touchdowns, 8 picks. And Peace is going to call his own number right here, and that play is going to be snuffed out. And yeah, a little tentative in that run, though. Yeah, just couldn't find an opportunity or a crease up there in that front line. And yeah, Omarion Dickens came up with the tackle. 
Scoped yeah, him out. Dickens him. swallowed him up there, and you you gotta you gotta want to have those positive plays to start off things, guys. Yes, sir. Came for a loss of yards the first play. Basic quarterback. Gonna be a little jet sweep around the right side. A nice little gainer there. Brought down by Chase Batter. Quincy Thompson there. And Thompson kind of lined up as a slot receiver there. And they went with a jet sweep. Yeah. And he was able to pick up eight yards on that run. So now it's third down and a very manageable two for the Cardinals. Back to pass this piece. Wild Dumps it off. Pass caught and complete, and uh, Thompson down to the 46-yard line. We've seen the Cardinals be very successful this year at hitting the backs out of the backfield on that little mini exactly. wheel route. Exactly. Yeah, and you know, that's working right now for the Cardinals. They're on the move. Cardinals go with four wide out, and Peace is going to call his own number again, and Peace oh. gets through the tackle. Oh, my. Nice run by Peace, and you can't arm tackle him up high. Uh -uh, it's almost up. like Darian was giving himself up, and the defender <laughs> right. sits that, and the, the, the just, defender pulled back off exactly. of him a bit. Exactly. Yeah, a little whoop, whoop, whoop right there. <laughs> I'm telling you. Second nice, down and two. Nice drive for the Cardinals to start the game, though, thus far. Looking good. So far, so good. Yeah, it really is. Second down and two. Peace back to pass. Ooh. Surveys the field. Got the running room. Rolls out, throws, finds a man. Got him. And I believe that is incomplete. Yeah, it oh. is. The umpire is right on top of that and saw that. That's Caleb Johnson, the intended receiver. Darion showed great patience, but i got to give any of those defense credit. They did a good job, I thought, of covering everybody up downfield. They did. They did. And, and what I like about Caleb Johnson right there, he came, he came back, back to the yeah. football. He saw that everyone's covered up and tried to come back for it. Third and two. Peace back to pass again. Peace under duress. He's going to have to run. He's got some green around that left side, and he dives for the first down. Yes, sir. Had it not been for the lunge, Darion would not have picked up the first down, but he does pick it up just barely. Yeah, he goes airborne, and there is a flag down holding on Trinity Valley. Oh, man. Mm. Takes him back. That flag was at the 45. Hey, what that flag looked like something you would have in a flag football game. It's so thin you couldn't really <laughs> see it on the field. I saw him throw something. I thought it was just a mark, but I didn't see anything else. That'll back the cards up, and now it's going to be third and 12. First and third and long situation for the Cardinals thus far in this drive. we got to go back to the crowd with this one. NEO playing a Tampa 2 coverage right now. Middle of the field's wide open, but everything's going downfield. And there's got a pass it. complete. Oh, my. And that's a oh. great reception right there. Two men on the same area. I don't think that was supposed to happen. But you had Caleb way. Johnson right there again making a great play. Caleb Johnson adjusting his route and Darion Peace showing the patience to let him uncover like that. Exactly. exactly. And he's showing that patience, Joe. And if he don't have it, sometimes he, then he's using his feet. So that's a good combination right Yeah, there. it is. We've seen Darion get in trouble a little bit this year trying to force some putt throws. Right. So NEO, interestingly enough, has two safeties back, I wouldn't say deep, but fairly shallow. You've got the linebacker playing about eight yards again, back, and Pease calls his own number, Ooh. sticks that head down, and dives forward to about the fifth. I just I mean, don't 25. like when you do that, Joe. I think it's safe to say Darion Pease is part of the game plan as far as the running yes. game goes today. Yes. Yes. I think it is, too. They saw something that they like with him running the ball today against this defense. Yeah, he went head to head with J Jerron Foreman. First and 10, Trinity Valley, ball spot on the 24. Thompson on the run, Thompson's hit, but not before he gets to the 19 yard line of NEO. That, was a good, that offensive line is doing a great job yes, thus yes. far on this drive. They're getting push on the line of scrimmage and owning the line of scrimmage thus far. They're, they're gashing some huge gains so far. Anytime you can have second down and four, <laughs> right. you know, after first down, you're doing something good on the ground. And they give him plenty of time to throw his pass. That's up though. Pace steps in the pocket. <laughs> oh, gets oh, oh no. I'll tell you what, it was good that he got away with it, but that's <laughs> weird. Don't do that. Yeah, yeah, don't do that. One. Well, he saw the he saw his, his man, man, I think it was that. It's that time. Had a little crossing route coming over. And, and had a wheel route going out down yeah. the sideline, too. That was 85 coming across, sweeten, and They sit the house at the Time and Drinker that slipped into the backfield and ran that wheel route there, and he was open momentarily. Three wide right, one to the left. 
There's the pass, caught, complete, and drug out of bounds at the two. There were four white jerseys I, I, around. I, I tell you, <laughs> yeah. I, I'm gonna say that. Man. Ooh, that's that. that's that, uh, I, I didn't Palomo know what to think of that. On that catch, John Palomo with a nice route. I, I looked up and uh, saw nothing but white jerseys then he, down there. Then that red just snuck in. I said, oh, what, okay. You know, Palomo just went to the open area in that zone defense yeah. and turned around, and Darion found him. How many drinker to the setback? I called Drinker up the middle. Oh, it's going to be Darion Peace, oh, and uh, maybe they should have gave it Your to call would have been better. <laughs> yeah. well, if you're the Cardinals, you want to stick this in the end zone now. I mean, there's no sign of panic. I mean, it's just second down and goal, but yeah. you, you did lose yardage on the play. You'd rather get six here and try for the point after than kick a field goal right, right. here for sure. Second and goal. Four wide. Peace looks right. There's a crosser over the middle. Covered well. Now someone flashes Anytime. open in the end zone. Oh, like they got intercepted. Almost picked off. There is a penalty marker that flies in the end zone. Cardinals seem to think it's a pass interference against the uh, Golden Norseman. We'll see. It'll be an automatic first down. What's a defensive holding against? Yeah, defensive holding. We'll take so it. a half the distance and an automatic first down for the Cardinals. So. Big break for the Cardinals. Well, that offensive line has given Darion all the time in oh, the world he needs you. today. He is. Yes, and uh, secondary, secondary doing yeah. a pretty good job at coverage. He's doing thing. Well, they got tagged with the uh, holding call there, but if you're a defensive coach, you don't want them having an easy six. <laughs> you might as well just drag him down. Exactly. That's in the red zone. Empty set backfield, five wide out. Watch Quincy Thompson here. And a fake to Quincy Thompson, and Peace goes airborne oh. and into the end zone. My lands, Look he at walked her. the dog on that one. Yeah, and flew like Superman. Look at her. So the Cardinals in for the touchdown Great with 9.52 and rolling. I think the clock <laughs> should have stopped. Yeah, there it is, 9.51 now. And Ty Powers will come on to attempt the point after for the Cardinals. Nice drive there, guys, by the Cardinals. Absolutely. I'm like Benny, I think Darion is going to be part of this, this running team today. There's a kick by Powers. Plenty of leg in. It is good. So 9.51 remaining to go in the first quarter. Cardinals up 7-0. to zero, And we'll be right back after a word from our sponsors. And the kick will be taken by Reese, Taylor Reese. Cardinals drop him down, and there's a 40-yard flag. <laughs> well, I tell you, he it threw flew. that from midfield, yes, and it sir. hit the uh, 20. I was a little wrong, 30 yards, not, yeah. not 40. We like, saw something. He, he did. He flew like Darion when he did Holding that Holding against the Cardinals is the call. That might be the longest flag <laughs> thrown of the year. Oh, my. <laughs> Holding against the Cardinals. Oh, excuse me, holding against any of Oh, I'm I started sorry. saying. Yeah, I got mixed yeah. up there. Sorry. Yeah. sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Who on the kickoff team was yeah. like, go hold him, hold him back. <laughs> oh, stranger. Well, we created, creating, we give him the business. <laughs> 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 he he would have been, have some kind of business done there. Yeah, man. 9.46, now NEO will start this drive from her own 10. Wow. I think that Cardinal drive was 76 yards, Joey. 76, it was. Bryce Bodkin, the quarterback for NEO, tried some out on the field to play. Let's see what these dirty birds got this round. It'll be just.
just a handoff, off right tackle, and that's a nice gain on first down for NEO. Yeah, they would take four yards of pop, I would think, against this Cardinal defense, but I wouldn't count on getting four yards of pop against this Cardinal defense. Not unless they have an extremely off day. Right. All right, Mathis with that great tackle, along with a host of Tiger, I mean, a host of Cardinals. Cardinals. Yeah, there you go. J.J. Pippen in the backfield and also Christian Jones for NEO. Along with a two-back look here. Receivers tight to the line. Just going to be a simple power play to the left and another nice game for NEO. Pretty good job. That was well designed because you had an overload on this left side, which is the near side there. And right. And it allowed your running back to follow his blockers and get positive yards there and make it a very manageable third down and two up and coming here. McCoy Casey on the tackle. We say that plenty of times today, I'm oh, sure. Oh, yeah. Well, yeah. yeah it's yeah. all over the place. Trinity Vale had about six people in double figures this last game they played. And <laughs> goodness gracious. This will be a big stop right here if you guys get it. The yeah, from the later. pistol, man in motion. Right through the middle. And Let's off see. to Pippen. Oh. Pippen. Very patiently follows his blocks. Straight Pippen. Well, you described that perfectly, Joey. He did have to show great patience because it was initially clogged up in the middle there. It was, and he kind of waited, waited to find that opening and then boarded ahead for the positive yardage of the first down for NEO. McCoy Casey once again with that tackle. Yeah, that's two. <laughs> two consecutive. Botkin, the quarterback. Pippen in the backfield on the left side of Bodkin. Going three wide to the right now is Enio. Back to pass. Bodkin finds Ooh. his receiver and he is hit by a flock of Cardinals, but not before a 10 yard gain and a first down. Yeah, good job by the Golden Norseman of kind of reading what the Cardinal defense was giving him there and right. perfect throw on the play. Yeah, that was Darius Hampton on the reception. So he always moved it out from the 10 yard line now out to the, what, the 33 yard line. Yeah, and taking some time off the clock as well. I'll take that in there. <laughs> so watch Enio now, they're gonna go a tight set trips to the left here. The last time they did that, Pippen got the ball and followed that wall of blockers trying to set the edge. They may not set it this time. It's going to be a pass. Oh, oh it's going to be a sack. Was it was going to be a pass. <laughs> it was going to be a pass. And uh, 97, Jaden, no, it's not, not, excuse me, that is Mathis. Byron Mathis. Yeah, Byron Mathis. He almost did the damn, but he thought about what Coach had said last time. <laughs> he, he did a little yeah. high step yeah, there. Yeah, he, he high stepped and got off of it. He reminded me of Cheeseburger last year. <laughs> right. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Cheeseburger, yeah. cheeseburger had a celebration. It was short-lived, but he had one. <laughs> yeah, he had to come. Yeah, he had to go to the side and get the business. <laughs> that was the last time he got the business yeah. and the yeah. celebration. Yes, sir. <laughs> Receivers four wide, double stack left and right. Quarterback draw. Bodkin calls his own number and not Can't, much doing there. Couldn't find him, he's not a big guy. No. Yeah, he, he got lost in the shuffle. Yeah, a flock of birds covered him up. Dirty birds, that is. And this is the situation that you don't want to be in if you're any old good third and long against this Cardinal defense. About to say Joe Sniffin went down low and cut his legs and then everybody else jumped on top of him. Six minutes to go in the first quarter already. Mm -hmm. the third and long too. Young Bodkin. man checking out of the game for NEO. Looks like offensive a, lineman. Yeah. Number 75. That left knee, it looks like. Broom, Q McBroom. Yeah, he walked in and he limped off. <laughs> Bobkin with three wide. There's a pass out of the backfield. A little wheel route there. Ooh. Nice play. JJ yeah. Pippen. Cardinals had he defended well, though. Yeah. They did. They, they bent but didn't break, and that was what you want to do in that situation on third and long. Now it's going to be fourth down and seven to go. Punt position there. You got to punt this one. So Enio moved the ball out from their 10 yard line to the 40, to the 36. So they made 26 yards, but it took about three or four minutes off the clock. They did. They did. They took at least almost four minutes. By the time they snap this ball, it will be four minutes. There's the punt. Very high Ooh. punt. And fair caught at the 23-yard line. Like the Cardinals didn't put no pressure on the kicker that time. And that was 82 for the Cardinals. Lowman. Nice high punt right there by the Golden Norseman. 
So the Cardinals will take over their second time on offense here in the first quarter with 5-10 left. 7-0 our score. Starting from a similar spot on the field as they did their first possession. But if you're the Cardinals, you knew you can drive yeah. the length of the field and get another score. You would in some ways deflate the NEO defense somehow. Well, if they keep running this football like they're doing, we'll be out here by 2.30. <laughs> <laughs> so I'll tell you, that good pass but you guys have got a 33-year class reunion to go to tonight. So yeah, we yeah oh, yeah. Yeah. I'm just enjoying the game right now. Yeah, Joy ready to do the stinky leg out the way. Oh, no. <laughs> that leg's broke. <laughs> Trinity Valley running a bunch formation to the left side. Darren Peace will the time again. Steps up in the pocket, throws, throws it away. away. Good decision right there. But he there. was in the pocket, though. Yeah, yeah. He was in the pocket. I think they're going to say that he had a receiver in the area, and he did. Well, he actually did, but I don't think he intended to throw it to that receiver. <laughs> but intention. Nah. Yeah. He, he, went, he, he tried to throw it to Coach Poteet. Like. It's like possession is nine-tenths of a law. There you right. go. <laughs> that works for me. It's not called, so it's in the card's favor. Peace again, back to pass. Has Wide a man open. In the oh, I'd like to be intercepted there, too. I think, I'll tell you what, that was almost close to a targeting call, also. Yeah, I think that the receiver a took a little bit of peek over his peek to see what was coming, too, yeah, though. That yeah, was Hill. Miles Hill. Hill Miles. Yeah, what is my Miles, Miles Hill? Hill? Yeah, yeah Miles Hill. So suddenly it's third and 10 for the Cardinals. Going to give the ball right back if they don't pick up this first down. Yeah, kind of interesting they've chose to go to the air all three times right. so far. He's trying to loosen up Enio's front. Empty set backfield for the Cardinals. Going to have to step up, oh, throws it down the left it. side. Oh, Has a man wide open. Him. This could go all the way. The Cardinals rope into the end zone for the score. My land. Yes, sir. 77. 77 yeah. 77, 77 yards, gosh. Benny. You are right. In perfect pass on the run. You Boy, I tell be. you, that was Rayshon Glover. The glove. Big playmaker there, Ray Sean Glover. We've seen him do it all year long, and he comes up big again here in the first quarter. Like a glove. Wow, what a throw. What yes, a throw. Yes, yeah, sir. If you're going to, you know, have 77 yards in one play, you don't need the other three downs. That's right. You don't need them. <laughs> yeah, you put them in your pocket for another time. Ty Powers comes in to attempt the extra point. Low snap, but Powers gets it up. I believe he squeaks it in that left upright. He does, and it's good. Wow. 448 left to play in the first. Cardinals 14, NEO 0. Good stuff. And uh, I guess we'll keep it right here for now, but 77-yard pass play by Darian Peace, Ooh. and that might have been one of his best pass plays of the year, I think. Absolutely. It was, it was his own target right, right in stride. I mean, Glover didn't have to break stride, and it was just a great catch. Yeah. And, and the amazing thing about that is Glover was covered by three defenders right. there. I'm looking at that now, George. Him. Here he is right yeah. here. Yeah. You can look on your screen, folks. Great pass. Just Steps up in that pocket. Big time. Yep. Three defenders all around. Rayshon and Glover. I think we got stuck there. Yeah, there you oh, go. there it goes. There go. Right there. Right there in the, in the, in the money. Hit him right, 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 right by everybody. Hit him well, in the right cool. place, Joyce, in the hand. <laughs> yeah. Yes, sir. But we see sometimes that the hands <laughs> might not be the right <laughs> place. Might be the right way. <laughs> Four minutes, 48 seconds left in this first quarter. Joy, 14 to zip. Perfect Reese. start. Perfect yeah. start. Perfect. Perfect start if you're a Cardinals fan. Reese Taylor and Hayden Hack back deep to receive the kick from Pedro Altamirano. No go. It's going to be Hayden Hack trying to get around the right side. Nothing Ooh, doing. He got hacked. He, he ran is. 40 yards, but he ran across the field instead of up the field. Up the field. There you go. That's not the way to beat the Cardinals special teams. Not at all. That's Noah Fleming's in there on that special teams, teams play. Sean Connor also. I tell you, both of them hit them about the same time, I believe. So NEO's second drive will start from the 14. The first happened starting from the 10-yard line. Yeah, field position, field position, field position. The same thing happens high school, college, and pros. If you start out with bad field position, it usually doesn't end too well for your <laughs> offense. Right. You just can't, can't keep giving that field position up. So now NEO going with stacked receivers left and right. So much you can do on that stack formation. You can run one on a, on a cross or the other one on an out. This one's going to be a bubble screen. Ooh, like well, he just ground. picked that one up off the ground. And yeah, like it hit the ground. I would just uh, knock. I, I, well, he better, probably shouldn't have caught it. Better off not catching it because he lost two yards on the play. Exactly. Great job with the Cardinal defense for recognizing the play and making the play on it. 
You know, I'm just not a fan of those little short passes most of the time, except when they work. Well, when, <laughs> when your offense has been struggling like any L, you're just hunting and picking, trying, trying to find, to find, find something. Yeah. yeah. Do I say except when they work? It's good. Got to go stacked receivers to the left, and now two receivers out to the right. Long snap count. There's the handoff. Oh, Nothing my goodness. Going nowhere. And that on the tackle will be Trayvon King, number 43. There's a third and long for NEO, this time though from their 12 yard line instead of at, at the 30. This is gonna be interesting. They see, see if Mark Miller decides to bring pressure on the quarterback this time, on a blitz maybe. Cardinals on a big blitzing team to be honest with you. Yeah, I mean it, it's, this They're going to run time to three pitch, wide right. They got the tight end lined up on the left. Christian Jones. Here we go. Oh, nice oh, pass oh. down the right side. Oh, just overthrow. out of the uh, reach of the intended receiver. It was there. open. It was open, but Katie he overthrew it. Great play. Too much on. Did have three Cardinals in the area, but you're right, Marcus. He was open for a moment anyway. Yeah, yeah he, he flashed open, and if that ball would have been released sooner and on the target, that would have been a big gainer for NEO, but it wasn't. It's fourth down. Cardinal offense about to get the ball for the third time in this Ooh. game, up 14-0 with 3-10 left in this opening quarter. Ooh, Scored ugly. on both drives so far as well. That is ugly. The second being a 77-yard touchdown pass from Darion Pace to Rayshon Glover. Good punt. Ooh, that's the other good punt. He turned that's it a over. Nice punt by Levi Hoffman. It's going to be fielded around the 27. Oh, get that and middle. A nice return get that by the Cardinals. Get that middle. Uh oh. Lowman still on his feet. Oh, I thought he was going to be outside. brought down at the 30 yard line by the punter. Why he didn't keep it <laughs> he outside? He might catch some flack on the sidelines yeah. oh, for that, yeah. guys. Oh, you got hit by the punter. Well, you know he will in film, in film <laughs> session anyway. <Yeah. laughs> I don't know about it on the sideline, but in the film session, you can't. Hey, a great it. return, though. There's a penalty yep. marker down to 39. This will come back. Yeah. Wait a minute. Hold everything, as they say. He must have seen the flag, and that's, that's why he didn't go to the building. <laughs> yeah. Well, there's the business call. That was the <laughs> legal blindside block. That's what that call is, guys. And, you know, we got it right there. So there will be no business today, but uh, I guess the Cardinals saw the flag right yep. there. Oh, man. That's He's classic, given the business. I, I love that call. <laughs> I wish there that would was. be an all timer for us guys. <laughs> <laughs> Give him the bit. I said it so innocently that night, too. Yeah, you said it innocently. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, what yeah, with yeah. passion? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, it was serious. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he just gave him the business. So the Cardinals start off at their own 24 yard line. That's our favorite starting point. They've started from the 22, 23, right. now the 24. Yeah, so yeah, here we go. Hyman Drinkard on the right side of Darion Peace. Like they're going to the air again. Peace back to pass. Ooh. Oh, wow. Nobody yeah. home. Nobody yeah. home. Don't see the Cardinals throw a lot of attempt to many screen passes, to be honest with you. That was that behind him a little bit. Palomo there intended the intended receiver, but uh, well, the Cardinals have gotten air happy though. I'm trying to tell you, though, I mean, it's, yeah, they're, pass they're, plays. they're forcing the issue right now, <laughs> for sure. There's something wrong, wrong with the running back. Back to pass. Peace over the middle, caught and completed. Ooh. What a hit right there. Yeah. Goodness yeah. gracious, <laughs> 48. Samuel. Oh, that was Parker Samuels. Yeah, Parker Samuels. I won't take your word for that, Marcus, because <laughs> I cannot see that number. <laughs> Mercy. First down. Peace. Gonna run the football. Oh, he's running the hurdles today. I'm telling you, yeah. he got smart kangaroo in him today. I think he's gonna watch the kangaroo movie. Jump the Jack Flash right there. He got two out of it. Like Xavier Thomas with the push out. Second down at eight for the Cardinals. Going to be Hyman Drinker in the backfield, lined up in a pistol formation. And motion left to right. Rowdy Godwin. Now another motion. 
Looking for the back out of the backfield. Ooh. Defender got just enough of him to knock him off the Yeah, it looked like he was going to have a nice gainer right there. But Jacoby Johnson stop. It was a sweeting on that catch. So a third down and a very manageable six yards to go for Trinity Valley. It's going to be tight set formation, the left and the right. Going to be a pass here. Oh, out of the backfield, oh, wow. that's a first down and a little bit more crossed into Enio territory. A one-handed grab. Yeah, one-handed catch, one-handed grab on that one. That's Hyman Drinkard. There's the man. Mr. Drinkard. And, guys, you cannot forget to cover him out of the backfield. <laughs> <laughs> they do a lot. Him. It seems like they do a lot. Uh, yeah. You better know where 14's at. Yeah, he's in the game. You sure better. Got great hand, great feet. Hey, all the coach wants. Empty set backfield for the Cardinals. Maybe a little jet sweep. No, they're going to fake that, and then they're going to give it to Drinkard again, and oh. he loses his footing there. Picks up a yard. Brought down by Tyron. I'm back. Yeah, Amaker right there on, on that tackle. There. <laughs> I'm going to hope you won't see it. No, no, that's okay. <laughs> Amaker really didn't make the tackle. It's just more about Hyman Drinkard slipping down. <laughs> oh, boy. I'm like, oh, we no. had a new brand of shoe coming like, out of Air Max. <laughs> I was like, no, Joe, I don't see the number. <laughs> no, it's okay. We all get them mis messed up every once in a while. Four wide receivers for Trinity Valley again. Peace looks to pass. Over the middle, caught complete. Oh, to big the 40 hit. yard line. It big was a big hit. He was sandwiched in there. And again, and that is Dejon Palamo. He's he's uh, came on the scene pretty often so far in this game. He has. And late the last couple of games you've seen his name pop up a few more times too. His number call, I should say. That'll be the end of the first quarter here at Bruce Field oh, wow. in Athens, Texas, with our score, Trinity Valley 14, NEO 0. Folks, you are watching the Trinity Valley Cardinals on the Cardinal Sports Network. Benny, Marcus, and I will be back. All right, folks, we are back, and both teams are still on the sidelines. When we get them both on the field of play, it'll be... <laughs> They're thinking about it, though. Yeah, it'll be third down and one. Guys, what a start for the Cardinals, though. Great start, and a very quick first quarter. It was a quick first quarter, because we had a, we saw got quite a bit of passing, but the ground game, was we saw it in effect, too. Yeah, we did. It, it's kind of mixing it up real nicely, kind of keeping any O defense off balance with that mixture of run pass. We resume play, it's gonna be third and one for the uh, Cardinals. They're operating from the NEO 40 yard line, trying to go perfect in their start to the game as far as three for three possessions, getting points on the scoreboard. Third and inches, Joe, so get this first right here. They're gonna to go to empty set backfield oh, again. Wow. Okay. For Darion on a run. Yeah, Darion yeah. maybe up the middle or a jet sweep here. Darion with the RPO play, stretches out, gets the first down. And he was down by contact, but any oak. Well, that's, that's that's scary, though, when you I see that. Because there is no instant replay in, in junior uh -uh. college football, so if they get it wrong, it's just wrong. It's just wrong. Yeah, it's just wrong. It's, 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 it's the odds so The ball spotted on the NEO 39 now. Got something going here with this little RPO play. You fake the jet sweep, let Darion, you know, find his way through the offensive front and pick up some nice yardage. Darion now on the pass. Bubble screen play. This oh. could go for a big gainer. Uh-oh. Oh, like face uh, mask almost, or something. Yeah, it looks like a face mask indeed is what it looked yeah, like. that was Miles, uh, Miles Hill with that tackle. Goodness gracious. Yeah, they – There's a flag, the, flag down at the line of scrimmage. Well, that'll probably come back. Uh, Darion took a big hit. My goodness, he took a big hit. That was Caleb Johnson on that reception. Darian got rid of that ball just in time, and then he took a hit. 
Offensive pass interference. Gosh. Now, how did that happen? I missed that one. Well, I... That I'm at a loss for words on that, my that friend. That was a perfect screen to me. Uh-oh. Yeah, a lot of people I, I, agree with us. <laughs> they're going to talk about this and hopefully they get it right. That that should not have been pass interference. I mean, not on the screen. I mean, he just it, went out. What we had was a pick play right there. Oh. So they're trying to, to discuss to see if it was. They're having a discussion about it. That holds out hope for the card. <laughs> yeah, it, right. it's 50-50 right. It's, it's right now, guys. <laughs> Let's see. They say, y'all, oh, we just going to keep it like it is. We didn't mess up. Well, the head official, he'll, he don't care. Well, yeah, they're still going to call it after all that debacle. <laughs> well, they were having the discussion in front of the NDO bench, so I'm sure they got some help from that sideline. Oh, yeah. <laughs> That's where the flag came from, too. He's talking about first and long now. It's first and 25. No problem. Shouldn't be. So first down, 25 for the Cardinals. Long of pass, play. And I believe timeout. Trinity Valley's going to call a timeout. Or I think Poe is wanting an explanation. Audience with, audience with the official. Yeah, <laughs> I can't blame him. We'll keep yeah. it right here, I guess. And <laughs> yeah, we better. <laughs> see what happens. Uh, it's never a good sign when Poe crosses his arms yeah. and gets in the non defensive <laughs> pocket. <laughs> yeah, he's in the non defensive pocket. Looks like he may be ready to restrain someone at any time. Yeah. To see what happens. Well, I, I don't blame him because I'm kind of curious. You see that play happen all the time at all levels, and you don't see that call. So he's. Poe's making his case, but I think he's done lost the argument because the penalty yard has already been assessed, and they're not going to go stand. Yeah, they're, yeah, definitely. So well, we got the police in the end zone. So they, they may be asking. <laughs> he's over there on the end zone over there by the field. So we might be all right. They may be asking about the play where he grabbed his helmet. <laughs> a couple of weeks ago. <laughs> yeah. yeah, here, here I'm posing. <laughs> he just said, I don't want to talk no more. Yeah, yeah. He Get just went out. back Get to the sideline, I'm done. <laughs> Sometimes that's the best thing to do. Just yeah. go out and pick up the first down. That's all you yeah. can do. Yeah. Right. So, well, I'm so quite confident you, you make one throw for 77. Exactly. I mean, you know. We'll mention that the Cardinals win today. They are definitely in the SWJCFC Regional Playoffs next week. And with a Navarro win over Tyler, would be at home to host Navarro next Saturday. That's if Navarro beats Tyler. If Tyler beats Navarro and the Cardinals win, the Cardinals will be on the road at Tyler next week as the number three seed. Here we go. He's back to pass. Fires one, caught and complete. That's going to be Caleb Johnson again. So now we're looking at fourth and 11. No, no, second or, down. Excuse me, second. Yeah, yeah second and 11. Got 14 of it back. That's a pretty good chunk to get back on first down. Oh, down by Jerry and Foreman. And that was uh, Palomo again. I'm sorry, it was not Johnson. Guys built very similar. You know, they're built the same. Almost run the same as well. Back to pass is Peace. Surveys the field, has a man. Caught complete. And that's going to be a first down and a little bit more inside that red zone now. Foreman once again with the tough one. Two things, guys. That offensive line is playing brilliantly yes. today. And Darion Peace is showing great patience and not hurrying a throw and throwing the ball as comfortably as I've seen him throw it since his high school days. Yes, that was Jaquan Loban right there. When he has time, he's one of the best. It's going to be a handoff. That's Quincy Thompson. And Thompson being patient himself there picks up a... This NEO defense, folks, is this a good defense? I mean, they're just giving up about 350 something yards per game. That's, yeah. that's a pretty good average in this league. So, third down. Clark excuse me, second down. I'll get it right in a minute. Six yards to go. We've seen the young Cardinals, young offensive line grow up in front of our eyes this year. And we saw it in that snow game, the very first game of the season. Yeah. Remember this right. year? They said, the longer you play, the better you get. Another oh. handoff and a nice tackle made down low by Kalik Knighton. Yep. For 98. The big fella. Yeah, got him from behind. You don't see Drinker brought down that easily very often. Uh -uh. Yeah, Knighton has a little bit of speed on him. Yeah, he took them legs off him on them, George. Three wide right, one to the left. Drinker on the right side of Peace here. 
Gonna be a pass, has a man. Oh, just a little too high. Let him just a little bit too much right there. And bring Ty Powers in to try a field goal. Yeah. Might as well keep the points on the board in the way you can. That was Dylan Robinson for the Cardinals on that uh, attempt to bring in that pass. Looks like it's going to be about a 31 yarder. 31 yards. Easy he's, a, he's eight for nine on field goals this year, oh, wow. as long as it's 45 yards. Those kickers just like cucumbers or are just cool. <laughs> and collective and good. Like that. 31 like that. yards out, Ty Powers. Just the tie. Mr. Calm <laughs> drills it through the uprights. We have a new score, Cardinals 17, NEO 0. 12 minutes, 15 seconds left in the half, first half. And it's good that the Cardinals pick up those three points on that drive right there because you're still picking up points. You're picking up points, you're three scores up now, right. and you, you just don't get any 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 idea from this start anyway that the NEO offense is going to be able to produce three scores, to exactly. be honest with you. Yeah, I mean, it's not looking that way. Cardinal defense playing very well, and it's evident that uh, NEO is having some issues running and passing the football right now against the Trinity Valley defense. Now, I'm not saying they can, but right now, Cardinal defense holding stout. A little engine that could. Tony got to think again. Pedro Altamirano will tee it off the Cardinals from his own 35 yard line. Back deep for NEO will be Hayden Jack and Reese Taylor. Seventeen to seven, Texas over Kansas State right in, right now. And at the half, that'll make Benny smile. Yeah, at the half too. Smile even bigger once the game's over with and Texas wins. I guarantee you. I've got it recorded at home. <laughs> Alta Morano with a kick, fielded by Reese at the ten. He's to the twenty. Got a seam on that left side. And Morano runs about <laughs> bounds. Well, he broke down to make the tackle. Then yeah. he decided, do I really want to do, do this? Do do yeah, he had second thoughts about it, but he had a hand in it. Yeah. <laughs> he's like, ah, okay. I played with some guys that tackled like that. Yeah, <laughs> yeah it's kind of like those lookout blocks. <laughs> oh, my. Oh, Pedro. They got that on camera, Pedro. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't, I don't know if it's – you know, I don't think he gets involved in a lot of tackling drills and practice. <laughs> no, so you can rest assured he doesn't he, get involved. He kind of broke down like a statue right there, ready to hit somebody. But, he was like, uh, he was it like, didn't happen. Yeah, he was like, I don't do this in practice. I don't hit people in practice. He remembered who he was. Yeah, there it is. There it is. Bodkin will hand the ball off. Oh, oh nice job of picking nice his hole. Nice run there. Yeah, picked his hole open, wide open. Got in there. Now see, that's the, for the NEO offense to have any success, seven yards on first down, they will take that every time. Oh, yeah, anybody would in the country. <laughs> that, that's a real good game on first down. In the understatement of the year. <laughs> <laughs> NEO's had some offensive success, but can they sustain it over the course of a drive? That's the question. Right, right. Man in motion. Neely with a carry again, and Neely gets the first down. So another nice run off right tackle there by Neely. NEO's offensive line is doing a great job right now of getting past that Cardinal surge up front, and the, it's the running backs aren't being engaged until they get to the backers. Neely right now looks like the best running back out of the three that's, that's uh, got a carry so far. He's averaging, well, he has five, 57 carries for 173 yards on the season, but we don't know if he's been hurt a lot or anything else. You know, this he looks good right now. Three wide right, one to the left for NEO. Neely in the backfield. Bodkin the quarterback. Bodkin looks, throws, incomplete. That was a tenant for Reese Taylor. Yeah, I think if, even if Taylor had caught that, he wasn't going to go for much distance because Cardinal had it pretty well covered up. David Toy was on, all on that one. If you're the NEL offense, you're going to have to feel the pressure because your defense is giving up more today than it normally does. And you've got to feel like you get the pressures on you to have to put some points on the scoreboard. Indeed. Frederick Watson checks into the backfield now for NEO. Interesting formation there. Bodkin 
Ooh, got one. past it. Had the oh. wheel route open. Oh, yeah. He's hit and oh. dropped in the backfield oh. and gives the uh, the stink sign. Yes, sir. That's number is that what it is, Marcus? That was, yeah, <laughs> that was Mario buffing with that one. Buffed him out. Buffing wasn't bluffing. That's right. That was a nice sack right there. But he sure had one wide open. Yeah, zone. I tell you. You Buffing sure remember that wasn't KD, number 90? Kadarian Erskine? That might have been. Eight or nine. That's Marcus's that's, that's <laughs> way of saying it. He's not sure. <laughs> Buffin, Buffin, Buffin plays a wide receiver for the Cardinals. Oh, my. <laughs> so well, I don't we'll go to this 90. <laughs> I, don't, I think it was Erskine. Yeah, it Erskine. Was, yeah, it was 90. <laughs> Saw it on the replay. Yeah, me too. Erskine. Three wide to the right, and there's going to be a handoff. Nice job by the Cardinals. Cardinal down on the field, and that is going to be number 90, Darian Erskine. Young man out of Van, Van High School. Going to bring up fourth down. I think Erskine had his helmet knocked off of him. And He's trying to figure out where he's at right now. Well, if you're from any old perspective, there's a chance to flip the field, though, and maybe back the Cardinal offense up and make them see if they can score for a fourth time in a row. You're grasping at straws right now because you're, you're the further and further you fall behind, the less and less likely it is you're going to be able to be successful today. It's a Cardinal team that has that seems to be primed for the regional playoffs. Laquan Bowman back deep to receive this punt. End over end punt. Oh, Owen's just going to let it Good roll. roll, and Enio gets a nice roll, and it'll kill at the seven-yard line. And Trinity Valley Sit the, come has some good field position yeah. here now. This is the worst field position they've had today to start the nice drive. So 9.32 left in the first half. 17-0, your Cardinals on top. Offense coming back on the field. 932 left in the first half, up 17-0 Cardinals. Yes, sir. And I'm pretty sure it's gonna be a pass since they've been done <laughs> so long. Mary Davis checks in at wide receiver for the Cardinals. On this near side, it's gonna be a handoff. Oh. I'm gonna take his jersey off of him. Yeah. <laughs> <I'll tell you. laughs> Clarence Dalton on the run there. I guess his first appearance in the contest today. Yeah, he's he's going to lose a yard on that carry, actually, so it's going to be second and 11. Chance for the NEO defense to get the ball back for the offense at midfield, possibly. Yeah, they fooled me on the first play. Not back to there. pass his piece. Steps up, finds a receiver downfield, Howdy. caught and completed. What a catch. Way to hold on to that ball. What great concentration. Man, oh, yeah. mercy. What? That was a big time catch right there from Mario Buffin. Yeah. Marcus, you called, <laughs> called his name. <laughs> That's him. Go and he delivers. That's, him. That's what I'm thank you, Buffin. <laughs> That's a highlight catch That's a highlight right there, catch. baby. Yeah. Brought down by Miles Hill. Yeah, he knew he was going to get hit over the middle, and he hung on to it. Great catch. Dalton's still in the backfield. He's on the right side of Peace. Cardinals going with a four wide receiver look. This is going to be a handoff to Dalton. Dalton Great has the edge Great and a nice run. And Dalton just won't go down. I believe he picks up the first down, depending on the spot. My goodness, what great physicality he showed in that time. He didn't want to go down. The Cardinals had it blocked really well. That play had the lead blockers were doing a great job. Yeah, they did. They had a, the right guard pulled out and set him free. Yep. And he was able to get that big gainer. So empty set backfield now. Man in motion. Hand off to Dalton coming right. Some good blocking Whoa. by the Ooh. Trinity Valley receiver. <laughs> but, but nothing doing. Uh, he I ran into a wall. Yeah, <laughs> a brick wall. Yeah, what was funny is two blockers were engaged with two defenders. And he ran right into them. <laughs> yeah, and he knocked everybody down like a bowling ball. Jerry Foreman with that tackle. Along with a couple more guys. We were at the Athens Bowling Center hey, out there. Pick up the split. <laughs> I'm telling you, that's what it did. Picked it up. Another run. There's a handoff this time. Hyman Drinkard with the ball. Okay, first down. And Hyman got it in front of his blockers. There yeah. you go. He yeah, well, right he's there. too fast. <laughs> he the right there. 
but very cool look for our cameraman if they get it. Our Cardinal cheerleaders today are decked out in some of the, all the uniforms through the years that the Cardinal okay. cheerleaders have worn. I was wondering what that was. Yeah, I was like, that guy looked different? like Mr. Peppermint out there. Was, uh -oh. <laughs> That's back when I was in school here. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks a lot. <laughs> Dr. Peppermint. <laughs> Sorry, Benny. No pun intended there. <laughs> Back to the game. <laughs> that was a nice catch right there by Mario Buffett once again. Picks buffing. up nine. I was buffing, bluffing. Well, I tell you what, a healthy nine yards on first down. You'll take that all day long and twice on Sunday. I'm telling you. Trinity Valley been very efficient so far on first down today. There we There's go. a handoff. Trying to get to the edge. He does. He's going to be pushed out of bounds around the 23. Pushed out of bounds by Jacoby Johnson. We're gonna give him the 24, so. It's a new runner. First down. 24. Cameraman. Micah Mace. Cooper. Oh, that was Micah Cooper, okay. Cameraman showed some of the uh, cheerleaders just earlier. Yeah, there they go. There they go, there they go again. Ooh Is that a yellow outfit? That's a yellow one. Where that yellow come from? Well, the beard, the beak. Yeah, well, the beak. yeah. Yellow beak. Oh, we had a colorblind cheer sponsor back <laughs> in the day. <laughs> well, maybe the Cardinals will go to an all yellow look uniform next year. <laughs> Back to pass. Out of the backfield is Dalton. And a nice little gain of three right there. Brought down by Hayden Hack. When you got 74 shooters, you only got so many uniforms you can get. Right. I'm telling you. <laughs> yeah. yeah. We're going to put you on this yellow one. <laughs> nobody unnoticed. No, no, nobody unnoticed. Second down and seven. Peace back to pass. Finds a man just sitting down yep. right in that seam. Well, Darren is on fire right yeah. now. His receivers are even hotter than that. Yes, sir. Jaron Foreman with that tackle. But the receivers are holding on to that ball because they're getting hit right on you know, the quarterbacks contact. are a lot like batters in baseball. You know, you start seeing things better and bigger the hotter you get. And they're insisting in the zone right now. They're not auto zone. <laughs> no, we hope not. <laughs> we need to keep his tires. Back to pass. Ooh, to, oh, my goodness. Just know. as we brag. Yeah, I think yeah. I say, I, I, I'm not going to say another word. Yeah, say no. <laughs> it's going to be fourth down. I believe the uh, high powers will come on here. This should be a little bit longer down. attempt than his 31-yarder earlier in the game. On them legs. 5 one left in this first half. Cardinals in control 17-0. Been a quickly played first half. <laughs> right. This will be a 35-yard field goal attempt here, Benny. Yes, it will. Nine of ten on the season for field goal range. Can't beat that. 99 percent. Snap is good. The hold is good. The kick is up. Plenty of leg, and that is good. Duh. So power is solid from 35. And with 4.56 remaining in the half, the Cardinals up 20 to zero. You watch the Trinity Valley Cardinals on the Cardinal Sports Network. We'll be right back, folks. Yes, sir. Plan. I'll take it. We are back at Bruce Field in Athens, Texas. We are about four minutes and 56, 56 seconds away from halftime here on this homecoming day at, at the campus of Trinity Valley Community College. And the Cardinals lead by a score of 20 to zero over the NEO Golden Norseman. Cardinals needing to win today. We're well, not needing to win, but a win today guarantees them a regional playoff berth. There's still a scenario where they could lose and get in, but we're not even gonna talk about that being up 20 to nothing. So <laughs> no, not right now. <laughs> right, not right now. <laughs> If we start talking about that, folks, we've got this game has turned dramatically exactly. differently. Exactly. Yeah, sideways in a hurry. <laughs> no jinx. Pedro Altamirano will tee it off for the Cardinals for his own 35. Back deep will be Reese Taylor and Hayden Hack. And this kick goes well, out of bounds. It's ugly. <laughs> uh, not one of his better ones for sure. Well, that, making that tackle shook him up. Well, yeah, he just grabbed his face mask and sure disgust on his own. I've never yeah, seen like, What is going on here? He's like, oh, man. Hello. He's like, I'm going to make sure that I don't have to tackle anybody this time. 
<laughs> Poe's talking to him and said, where was that designed? <laughs> oh, my. So the ball will come out to the 35-yard line for the Golden Norseman. Good starting position, but they found themselves down now. Still down three scores, but the hold is getting deeper. Cardinal defense is going to continue to play. You can rest assured of that. J.J. Pippen in the backfield. Mr. Pippen. Quarterback. Botkin, this is going to be like a wildcat here. Uh -huh. And Pippen's going to get the ball, and it don't work. No, Pippen don't want that called anymore. That One yard gain. Hit. I'm trying to see if we get that. Oh, <coughs> yeah. Yeah, that was number yeah. 40 right there. McCoy Casey McCoy on the tackle. Casey went in with a Benjamin. Can't have a yard, a hard yard, too. It certainly was a hard yard. Yeah, very. Heard a lot of enthusiasm coming from next door. Yes, sir. <laughs> a bunch of them. Cardinals going four down linemen here. Looks like they may bring pressure from the left side. Cardinals drop back into the zone. There's uh -oh. pass down field. Wide that. open, caught and complete. And that is the best game of the day for the Golden Norseman. Yeah, the receiver did a great job of just escaping the Cardinal defensive back and getting himself open and had about a three or four yard cushion to make the catch over his shoulder. Yeah, Christian Jones again, and he's going to take a breather now. Good throw there. Oh, it was perfect. I mean, it's just like that last throw, except this time they connect on it. We saw that pass early in the first quarter where he was wide open and Bodkin couldn't get it to him. Bodkin sends quarterback, or excuse me, the running back in motion on a wheel route. There's a little bubble screen. Uh -oh. This could go the distance. It will. NEO scores, gets on the board here in the first quarter. That was a well-designed play, and there was some mixed up and mix up in coverage right there, guys. No that question about it. Yeah. Hayden Hack on the touchdown. He hacked him that time. Well, yeah. what happened was the defensive back and one of the linebackers, I believe, took the running back on the wheel route, and then they forgot about the inside slot receiver, and nobody Ooh, was home, is. and he yeah. took it home. Big answer about the Golden Norse, but they needed that. Kick is up, and it is good. Levi Hoffman with the PAT for NEO. We got a new ball game, 20 to seven here. 332 left in the first half. A lot of time. And NEO gets the ball to start the second half, but right. the Cardinals has used this 332 wisely and effectively and right. produce points from it. Exactly. Yeah, uh, exactly. I, I think right now, and the Cardinals need to ground this one out and right. score some points here. Let's throw that 71 yard pass. We'll, turn down. we'll take that one too. You just got to stay with your game plan, be patient. Cardinals have played well. And like I said, that one's just botched coverage because that, there's no way that should have happened. But that happens in it, football. I mean, it happens to the best of defenses. It, it does. Miscommunication. And that's why you got to talk out there on that football field. But from an NEO perspective, they had to have that, though. Yes, they did. They, they, they needed, needed something they positive to happen before halftime. Exactly. To give them a little momentum. If you can come and get a quick stop on the Cardinals and get the ball back, then you've got a chance to have two score twice before the Cardinals touch the ball again. I hope that don't happen because then we'll talk about that scenario <laughs> yeah, we really didn't yeah, want to talk yeah, about. Yeah, we have to bring it on up now. <laughs> if, if this and if that. Well, Levi Hoffman will tee it off from his own 35 for NEO. This kick will be taken by Lowman at the six. Lowman shoots up the middle, now tries to dart outside. Oh, my goodness. I think if he'd have kept yeah, it outside, he had a too. wall there. He uh, could have took it to the house. Oh, uh, I can't. Yeah, I see it too. He made the wrong call on that, but it's a nifty little return. Anyway. Nice return, good field position. Like they just tell me we, we see those big holes up here. Yeah, you know, it's, yeah, yeah. it's easy yeah. to say we're up yeah. here seeing it from yeah. our vantage point, yeah. but when you're on that field, everything's yeah, yeah, so yeah, jumbled yeah, up, yeah, you know. Yeah. It's like shoulda, woulda, coulda. Yeah. Three Jeremy minutes, Valley. seconds. Matthew Duncan in at quarterback. Uh-oh, Duncan in. 
at running back is Micah Cooper, 24. Duncan's going to call his own number. Has some blocking around uh -oh. the left side, uh -oh. on the edge, uh -oh. and he steps out of bounds. Might have had a little hold. There you go. Yeah, <laughs> there. Yeah, oh, just a little. A little. We ain't going to say nothing. <laughs> Yeah, like a little hole, they, they didn't see that. As long as the official on this side didn't see it, we're okay. That was a first down. So this gives, you know, NEO something else to look at and worry about now. And we knew this was coming after the way Matthew played the last, last week against uh, Nimi. Cooper in the backfield on the right side of his quarterback. Duncan back to pass. The lefty fires complete out of the backfield. That's Cooper. Cool. Cooper weaving his way downfield. <laughs> nice pickup on first down. Yeah, yeah another seven-yard pickup on first down and eats away at that clock, too. Brought down by DeMond Sanders. Not that Sanders, though. Clarence Dalton checks into the game and gives Cooper a breather. So Duncan... Gets the Cardinals set. Second down and three. Mr. Leffy. Duncan back to pass. Looks middle. Finds his receiver. First down over the midfield oh, stripe. Still up. No one gets him. Oh. He's still on his feet. He's uh -oh. still going. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> that is an ESPN highlight reel. He got tackled by the turf, Joy, with a little help from Xavier Thomas. Well, I tell you, that was number Malik Robinson there, number 46 for the Cardinals. Wow. Duncan calls his own number on the RPO We're in the right side. Oh my goodness, Duncan just mowing defenders down. Dunked him, did he? I think he, he did the Superman right there, Marcus. And Times are winding down. Docking with the throw. Pass is caught incomplete. Down at the 23, has the first down. Brought down by Chase Fader, Faber. First down. We got, like we got somebody hurt, they finna throw oh, they, they finally found Yeah, him. I think he's got a cramp yeah, there. Yeah, he was sitting down, they finna run the play. The ref didn't see him. So 46 on our roster, Malik Jefferson for Trinity Valley. He's the young man that made that big play down the right side earlier. Okay. Wasn't on our roster, but I actually picked it up from here in the, yeah, uh, yeah, in yeah, our friend there right. in the booth. 45 on the field now for the Norseman, Jacoby Johnson. Like they're checking that left calf muscle out. Yeah, the case of the cramps there, it looks like. Catching them early today, my friend. I'll tell you. So 103 left to play in this first half. The Cardinals up 20 to seven over NEO, but NEO put herself right back in the ball game. They did, but the Cardinals can reestablish their dominance here with the score exactly. before the half. Right. And you want to use all this clock too. You don't give NEO any time on the clock. Exactly, they scored pretty quick while ago. Got one minute, three seconds to use. Stop, clock is going. Duck in the seconds. quarterback, five wide receivers. Clarence Dalton in motion. Duncan calls his own number to the left side. And Duncan is going to go out of bounds at the probably the initial line, the original line of scrimmage. Yeah, he tried to find a little opening to cut that back into. There was just wasn't any. The any old defense did a great job of stringing that play out. They struck it out nicely. And he had a help from the safety coming down downfield to 25. Still like Javon Marsh. So second down and 10. Dalton still in the backfield on the right side of Duncan. Little play action. Duncan looks, finds his receiver right in the seam for the first down. Wide open. Wide open. Just sitting there like a sitting duck, a bird. That was Sweeting on the catch. 
Gonna go up tempo here. Duncan back to pass again. Little wheel route out of the backfield. Clarence Dalton stretches Got and him. he's in for the score. What a play. Got him. As he does a pose, that's a love one. Yeah, he, you know? yeah, don't do it yeah, anymore. Don't do too long. You, you do too much pose and that yellow flag is <laughs> going to come out. Let's go. We don't need that pose. And we, we ain't in the NFL. Found out like, found out like cheeseburger did last year. <laughs> I'm trying to tell you. You be sitting on the side. Yeah, but the coach is yelling at them right now, get off uh -huh, the field because the field. they almost got penalized for that celebration. 26-7, to 7, our score. Ty Powers on to attempt the point after. Nice run by Clarence Dalton. He was got kind of turned around and just stretches that ball over the pylon. They're determined to make that touchdown and what they call. You're exactly right. Powers kick is up, and he makes it look easy good. 27-7 our score. Cardinals back on top. And that's got to take uh, the, the momentum that NEO had and, and turn it completely around. Absolutely. That's why that drive was so important for the Cardinals. We touched on it as the drive began. They needed to do just what they did, and congratulations to the Cardinals on that. By the way, folks, at the start of halftime, we're going to keep it right here because we're supposed to introduce the new four new Hall of Fame members at the start of halftime, so we'll keep it here when halftime gets going. Then we may take a break or get a step away for a moment, but we're going to keep it right here once this first half ends because the introduction is supposed to start fairly quickly uh, once the halftime begins. Yes, sir. 35 seconds of counting. Pedro Altamirano will try to keep this kick in bounds. May let Joe Marcus introduce, enter, enter, entertain us with a tune before while we're waiting. Oh, yeah, I got that. Oh, my. Too. <laughs> <laughs> don't, Jim don't, is oh, my. Don't do, don't do that. Don't do that one. I might go with He may two. break out. He found his uh, thrill <laughs> on Strawberry Hill. <laughs> I'm trying to tell you. <laughs> We'll have a lot of chances to relive the oldies tonight for sure. <laughs> yeah, yeah. We're going to turn up a little bit as the young folks play. I'm well, about to turn up, but about midnight, <laughs> I'm probably going to turn in. <laughs> <laughs> I'm tell you. There's a deep end over in kick by Altamirano and goes in and out the back of the end zone. That's a great kick. She's got to do it every time. That way we don't have to tackle anybody. <laughs> That's right. Yeah, he's, he's, he's going to kick it in the end zone this time. Those kickers wise up after a while. Right, yeah, right. yeah. Let me go and kick this ball right. <laughs> they make it look so easy kicking the heck out of the yeah, football. They just really do. Yeah, I thought I could kick, but I was like, oh, there's an art to this. There really is. Cardinals will come out on defense. Enio will come out on offense. Now, now the Cardinals really going to, I'm sure Coach Mark McMillan talking to his group, telling him, telling them to watch out for the deep ball here because you know it's coming. Definitely. Zinio has nothing to lose. They're going to get the ball to start the second half. Yeah. All right, let's, let's go for the gusto. It's 35 seconds now. Let's see what kind of a alignment that the Cardinals come out in here. Yeah, they're choosing to almost man up here. And one safety deep. Looks like Emil may be bringing pressure on the left edge, which would be the right edge for. NEO, but now it's back off into the zone. Pass downfield, a oh. nice job right there by the Cardinal defense. He jumped the oh. route, man. Yeah, that was my boy, uh, Trail Riley. Now, Trail Riley almost came up with it. All he did was just kind of be patient, read the quarterback's eyes, and as Benny said, Jumped the route, almost had it. That might have been pick six, too, because no one was there to stop him. 30 seconds remaining now. Ineo going with two backs in the backfield now. I'm sure these, these backs will probably both go on wheel routes. Well, I was wrong. The quarterback's <laughs> going to take it up the middle. How sure were you that? <laughs> uh, well, I was thought I was pretty sure. The right but they decide to run the football. They have a timeout on the field now. Charge to the Cardinals. The Cardinals want to get the ball back. Oh, my. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, timeout on the field. We'll take a timeout in the broadcast booth, and we'll be right back, folks, after these messages. Let's see first.
19 seconds left in this uh, first half, 27 to 7. The Dirty Birds on top. Joy, it's a good game here. Yeah, that's one of these long timeouts here, man. <laughs> yeah, <I'm laughs> giving us a TV timeout or something. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah they, they come on with it. So these officials aren't in any hurry. some sponsorships about an hour. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Third down and three. Cardinals did call the timeout, though. They'd like to make sure make, if they may get the ball back on a punt. Yeah, you know. Cowboy headquarters is your... Pistol formation and broken eye. Bodkin. Just going to hand the ball off to Pippen. They can get it back if they use another timeout. And they are using another timeout. Post, I can't take it with me. Okay, okay. And, and I'm sure they probably already discussed what they needed to discuss on the last timeout. And they're probably like you guys were saying, trying to set up for the punt return here. The referees have some conversation. There's a flag down at the 44 yard line. The one stop shop destination in Athens. 80,000. Boats even better for. Well, I think you've turned around and you decline it because you yes. don't want to give them the t time to run the rest of remaining time off the clock. Trinity Valley's going to call another timeout here. Oh, trying to get his defensive unit you know, over to the side. He's like, come here. <laughs> timeout. That's the Cardinals' final timeout of the half. So 12 seconds left. If you're NEO, what do you do? If I'm NEO, I'm just going to throw a bomb. I mean, why not? I'm going to send my receivers on go routes all the way down the field and just let my quarterback throw it. You ain't got nothing to lose at this point. What are they stepping off? Well, there was a uh, personal oh, foul oh, okay. against NEO. I slept through that. <laughs> no, it's okay. I'm getting a nice suntan up here. <laughs> I'm you, I, 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 I've been sliding back ever since. I'm like, whoa. That sun is beaming in on his glass, like a magnifying glass. How about this first half and go down a little bit? <laughs> hey, Walt. <laughs> so after the timeout here with 12 seconds remaining in the first half, I tell you what, they've made 35 seconds turn into 26 minutes. <laughs> I don't know how that's done, but they've done it. <laughs> I started to ask, do you have places to go? Then I realized, yeah, you do. <laughs> I'm not really worried about the, that time. I was just kind of <laughs> thinking how fast the first quarter went by. And then we get in the second quarter and we're bogged down in quicksand. Just a little bit. Just a little. All right, so the box score, or the box over there has to correct down now. Fourth down and showing third. And I was thinking it should have been fourth. It looks like... Bodkin is going to still be out on the field. They're going to go for this on fourth down. Why not? Oh, They're going to talk and about why it. Why not call a timeout? Oh, let's get another. It's the, <laughs> it's the land of the timeout. Well, there's only one more timeout left yeah. after this one. So. Yeah, unless they, they want to borrow might, some from the second half and bring well it to the first. <laughs> they might well take that timeout too. Wouldn't it be an interesting rule if you could actually do that? <laughs> it would. It would. We may be on to something. <laughs> We said it here. I'll let you call the NFL commissioner. And the no, that's okay. He's not, <laughs> he's not taking my calls anymore. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> hey, how about the Texas Rangers this week while we're in timeout? How about them? 60, what, 63 years? Of, yeah. As a franchise dating back to the Washington Senators they days. come to Texas in 72, I believe. Yeah, it was. So, right the year I was born. Well, my daughter went to the parade. She sent me some pictures. Some Listen, videos. I wasn't about to get in that parade. I know. They I was, was like, they're parade. estimating half a million people there. It was. You know what kind of traffic that caused yesterday? <laughs> Mayhem. Uh, but school, so happy for the Rangers. High man. school bands from everywhere uh, got to participate. You know, at one point in the season, I was like, I, I just, I don't think they're going, they're going to just going to go downhill, and then they just <laughs> win every game on the road. <laughs> That's a great recipe for doing it, but it's a hard way to do it as well. Yeah, I think uh, any old change your mind about going for it. Uh -oh. Not a good punt at all. Not a good punt. It's going to be taken at oh, the 44. Oh, he no loses happen. his whole oh, hat. Oh, there's going to be a flag. Ooh, he took his head off. Well, there should be a uh, face Look mask. Look at Poteet. is like, stay back. Look, Poteet's like, stay back, God. Yeah, stay don't, back. Don't yeah, that. because if you if you leave the playing, if you leave the sideline, you're ejected and you can't play in the playoffs next it, week. There's the penalty flag at the 47, or between the 47 and 46. They get one shot at the end zone. Yeah, they do. 
They may have a close shot, too. Personal foul, face mask, what I thought. And that'll be a big one right there. You might send your kicker in right here. Very possibly, very possibly. Joel, you, you might be right, Joel. That's, 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 that's out of the get Southwest it. would be helping a tad. I, I think you bring Ty Powers in and give him a shot right here. Let's see it. One second left, I will do it. But yeah, right here, this would be close to 49. Let him break a record. No, it won't break a record. Well. <laughs> Marcus is wanting to break <laughs> records. The school record, I believe, is 56 yards. I'll bring so. some of the old 33s. You can break them tonight. <laughs> <laughs> All right, first and 10, and here comes Ty Powers. And I yes, wasn't, he is. And I wasn't on air, so that was good. My mic was off. Yeah. <laughs> I'll tell you what, I, I like this right here. This is going to be a 50-yard attempt. You like it unless it's blocked. Yes, yeah, unless it's blocked and ran back, yeah. <laughs> but I like the I like the play, too. You may have to have one of these at the playoffs. Yes, sir. I'm all for this right here. Love the call. Ty Powers from 50. Can he do it? Good snap, good hold. The oh, kick uh, is blocked, but recovered by Trinity Valley. Uh, so all is well, it ends well. No harm, no foul. That's right, no harm, no foul. We are at halftime, folks, here yep. at Bruce Field in Athens, Texas. The wow. Cardinals leading by a score of 27 to seven. After an entertaining first half, the Cardinal offense was in top-notch form today. Darion Peace having a very good half running and throwing the football. And we're gonna pause just a moment here as we let our Hall of Fame inductees, I see them making their way out to the field now and they will have a moment here. We'll have a little brief ceremony for recognizing them and uh, then we'll take a break and get back and let you enjoy some of the halftime entertainment. Looks like three of our, our Hall of Fame members are, are going to be represented here. was dominating this year. Fast, powerful, virtually unstoppable. In fact, the only slow member of the team was me. When I was sidelined with ankle pain, it put the whole season at risk. So just like when my players need the best care, I turned to a proven provider. Now I'm back in the game. Get the care you need at physician-owned Baylor Scott & White Texas Spine and Joint Hospital or visit tsjh.org to find a specialist today. Finding success in life is a journey. Whatever road you're on, take the next step at Trinity Valley Community College. Whether you want to get new job skills, work toward a degree, or just take classes for fun, TVCC can design a plan just for you. As an Aspen Prize Top 150 U.S. Community College, TVCC in Athens, Kaufman, Palestine, and Terrell delivers a quality, affordable education, and financial aid is available. Visit us at tvcc.edu. Long before the craving hit you, when nothing else would do but Texas barbecue, we were way ahead of you. Dickie's Barbecue Pit satisfies your craving, delivered where you want it, when you want it. Order online or use our app, Dickie's Delivers. Trouble hit. We just had the recognition of the new four new Hall of Fame members into the Cardinal Hall of Fame early from earlier today, representing their dad. Dr. W.P. Rib Drumgool was Carmen and Rashawn uh, Drumgool. We lost Dr. Drumgool in, in 2011. Also out there today was Nate Richards, who played for the Cardinal football team back in the 2011 season. Keanu Plax, who played on the National Championship Lady Cardinal basketball team in 2012. And with us earlier today, but not here at halftime today, she had to return return home, was a Duke Bulgak who was on the 2013-2014 Lady Cardinal National Championship squad. It was the NJCAA Player of the Year in 2014. Now we're going to let you enjoy the sights and sounds of halftime and homecoming in Trinity Valley Community College in 2012. 23. Thank you for joining us here on the Cardinal Sports Network.
Welcome back to the Cardinal Sport Network's presentation of football on of Trinity Valley Community College, live from Bruce Field. We have a halftime guest with us tonight. Joining us is uh, sports journalist, a journalist extraordinaire, Michael Hannigan, who covers Henderson County like nobody else covers Henderson County because nobody covers Henderson County like Michael Hannigan covers Henderson County. That commercial is brought to you by Michael Hannigan and Horry Hannigan Media. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, that was pretty cool, uh, Benny. I'll, uh, I'll I'll put you on the payroll for that. <laughs> I like Michael, that. Our impressions of the first half was it was a pretty solid first half by the Cardinals. Yours? Yeah. Well, when you score on every drive except when you get it for one second left at the <laughs> end, and you still get a chance to try for a score on that one, that's that's pretty solid. One of the reasons I wanted to come down and talk to you guys is because uh, one of the things I knew coming into the game was that it was going to be really, really hard to pass against this team. Uh, but that's not what I've seen. No, Darion Peace is having a great game throwing the football, and his receivers are having an even better game catching football. But I'm telling you, above that is the play of that offensive line today. Yeah, they've had. he's had so much time He's looked at two and three and four options in some yes. cases and, and found, found them every time. But the receiver, it's just a great offensive effort today, and that's what you want to see going into the playoffs. Yeah, and I think that the coaches have put together a really great game plan for today. They came out and they started, and Darion was doing a lot of RPO stuff. He was getting to run the ball a little bit. He ran more than he has. He's had seven carries in the first half. Um, and I think that that gave the defense something to think about. And then when they did start throwing the ball, they were throwing the ball to the backs a whole lot more than I've seen them do. And that got kind of pulled up the linebackers back, up, and kind of pulled the safeties up. Um, and got the defense on their heels, and then those wide receivers started finding spots in the zone, and it just was really pretty to see. You know, as through the years we've seen through Poe's offense, we've seen it be uh, wide receiver intensive. This year they're a little thin at the wide receiver position. They don't have some kids out they thought they were going to have in camp and everything. So I think they've done a great job of, 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 of adapting to what they have, and, and like you said, using the backs out of the backfield maybe more than they have in the past. Yeah, and he's actually done it, and we've seen it all game long, where he's put the uh, running back in the slot. Sometimes he'll bring them back, and then they'll give that they'll give the quarterback that RPO read, or um, you know they'll they'll just run the out route from that right. slot, and that quick pass is really it, it helps your offensive line because they don't have to hold on so their pass right. pro so much. Uh, and it's just been a beautiful, beautiful game plan. And on the other side of the ball, you know, the defense has given up two plays. That's, that's it. it. One was a miscommunication on the touchdown. That was it. That was yeah. it. Yeah, that's all they've done. Um, at one point uh, in the first half, TVCC had more scoring drives than NEO had first downs. Wow. Well, you knew the NEO was struggling offensively this year. I mean, they're averaging 7.5 points a game right. and 150-something yards per game. That's 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 struggling. That I expected. Yeah. And against a Cardinal defense, that's not the recipe for having any success. No. no. That's why I said the big surprise is the 27 points because uh, NEO has had a really good defense all year long, and they've shut down other teams' passing attacks. They haven't. They've had a niche for getting turnovers as well this season. Yes. Yeah, they they've had uh, – Interceptions. They've done a really good job picking the ball off. They have over ten. They have uh, double digits. In and I think they've got seven fumble recoveries as yeah. well. So I think they got they've got seventeen takeaways as a defense. Right. That, that defense. defense is a really really good defense. Um, like I said, the offensive coordinator, the, the the coaches have got a great game plan. The team is running it to per perfection. Well, they are. Um, and, and we talked about uh, Darion and how well he's playing. Matthew Duncan came in for a series, went five for five, um, and he accounted for all 74 yards of that drive with either his arm or his legs. And, of course, Matthew's got two wins to his credit this year because he won the game at Air Force Prep when he played, and then he won last week at NIMI. So he's won both two he's road won, games yeah. and played well in both. Yeah, and TVCC is really in a good spot going into next week where they have, you know, depth at that position. You've got depth at the running backs. The offensive line looks to be playing well. They're starting to get healthy again uh, on the defensive line in the front seven, which is really important, and they look really good. 
we were talking about the playoff scenarios, and of course, if the Cardinals win and Navarro beats Tyler, the Cardinals will be at home next Saturday taking on Navarro. If the Cardinals win and Tyler beats Navarro, Tyler will be at home hosting the Cardinals next week. You'd rather be at home playing, but I'm not so sure I don't like the matchup with Tyler better, even though I know we Cardinals defeated Navarro the first time around. I just think matchup-wise, they match up better. Tyler, we saw him leave a lot of points on the field against Tyler in a 2017 loss. And Navarro is always dangerous always. to me. Always dangerous. They could explode at any time. And, you know, I don't know if I want the added baggage of having that quarterback matchup again. Again, I know Dane Yance and Darion Pace, of course, for the Cardinals. But uh, but it's fun to be talking about the playoffs as far as the Cardinals go because, they, of they, course, they're coming off last year when they won the conference championship, winning the number one seed and then lost in the first round to a team they'd already defeated in the regular season. As you mentioned, it's hard to do that in this league. Once you once you get into the, into the conference tournament, it, it, anything could happen. I mean, there's so little that – that um, separates these teams, especially at the top of the conference. It really is. Well, let's turn our attention to high school football for a moment. You covered the Athens Hornets on a regular basis. Of course, Athens is the, we're playing at the Hornet Stadium here at Hornet at Bruce Field here in Athens. They making the playoffs for the first time since when? Uh, this is the first time in four years. Four years. Okay. They made the playoffs the very first year that uh, Coach Zach Harrell came to town, and then they got moved into the um, the best. For a district <laughs> in the state, uh, when you have Henderson, Kilgore, and Chapel Hill, um, it's it's a hard hoe to row. Boy, it certainly uh, is. And uh, but they knocked off Palestine last night uh, to get into the playoffs, and it was a uh, it was, they won going away. It was a 49-28 game, uh, but Palestine put up a late touchdown against some uh, backup defensive players. Uh, Athens has found a recipe over the last three weeks that really, really works well for them. And it's power football behind Jackson Styles at quarterback and Jamari Manning at running back. Well, it would be interesting to see how teams defend that as they move forward in the playoffs because obviously they're going to play what you think is Lumberton at the first they're round. They're going to play Lumberton in the first round at SFA on Friday at 7.30. And here's the thing, they they played uh, Kilgore two weeks, three weeks ago now. Right. And uh, almost won that game. It was and 21-21 with about yeah, four minutes to go on the game, yeah, something like yeah. that. There was, a, uh, there was an onside kick that they didn't come up with, and I think if they came up with that, they would have gone down and, and won the game. And then they did the same thing against Chapel Hill. So they've run this kind of a scheme against – top 10 teams and done really really well uh, the other side of the ball their defense is playing outstanding right now and so yeah they've got all of the pieces going for them well how much do you know about Lumberton at this point have you done much really no I, I haven't had a chance I'll talk to uh, coach Harrell on Tuesday and, and kind of get the lowdown on Lumberton I know they've won their that district are, obviously yeah I know that they're undefeated in the right. district they're 5-0 and in district but in their non-district they were only 2-3 and three. And so, you know, you never know. You, you, we don't know that district. I mean, it could be, it could be the hardest district uh, around, or it could be right. an easy district. So, uh, and, until coach gets a chance to really look at the look at the film, we, we really won't know. Well, Michael, as we turn our attention back to the, to the game we're at today, the NEO and Cardinal game. What do you look for for the Cardinals in the second half? I mean, obviously a continuation of the first half since you're up 27 to seven. But I'm, t but I'm thinking in terms of as you look forward to next week, do you think that uh, Coach Poteet will uh, put more – sub a little bit more freely maybe than he normally does? Yeah, I think when we already saw that a little bit maybe at the end of the first half. I saw, you know, we had a lot of numbers coming up, a lot of guys who don't always That's true. get the ball. That's true. Uh, and I think you will see that. Um, I, I think that you'll see maybe – the quarterbacks running the ball a little less, yeah. right? We don't want to see we don't want to see Darian get dinged up or Matthew get dinged up uh, going into next week. I think the running backs will get the ball more, uh, maybe grind this clock a little bit and get out of here. Because what you want to do now, when you look at this and you say, "Yeah, we're in a really good spot for the second half," how do we get out of it healthy? 
correct. And one thing that's interesting is this game kicking off at noon and the other two kicking off at 3 o'clock, those teams are going to know what they've got to do when they know what the Cardinals have done today. Yeah, I don't know that if they really care. I think, <laughs> I think that um, they're going to be – they're going to be ready to just play and and you know play the best that they can and, and try to get. Well, that that's that's kind of that's kind of that's kind of fun there, Benny. I like that. Okay, we got a we got a little dance going here, guys. This is this is good with the Cardettes on the field uh, doing their thing. I'm not sure this is the Cardette music, however. We thank Michael Hannigan of Hannigan Media for being our guest today at halftime here at the halftime of the Cardinal NEO game. The Cardinals up 27 to 7. We're going to take a break and we'll be back on the other side. You're watching Cardinal Football on the Cardinal Sports Network. Cowboy Headquarters is your one-stop shop destination in Athens. 80,000 square feet of awesome sitting on 25 acres with top brands for all your farm and ranch needs, including Prefer, Tartar, Steel, SMA, Blue Bonnet, Equibrand, Trent Ward Saddlery, Professional's Choice. We have a Texas-sized store with a Texas-sized selection. Cowboy Headquarters just south of the loop on Highway 19 in Athens. Cowboy Headquarters is a destination you don't want to miss. Shop online now at CowboyHQ.com. Our offense was dominating this year. Fast, powerful, virtually unstoppable. In fact, the only slow member of the team was me. When I was sidelined with ankle pain, it put the whole season at risk. So just like when my players need the best care, I turned to a proven provider. Now I'm back in the game. Get the care you need at physician-owned Baylor's Co Your team leaves everything on the field. They play with heart and with their mind. But being smart starts long before the kickoff. With the latest technology, sports medicine advancements, expert physicians, we can keep your team healthy and protect joints and growing bones for this big moment and their future on any field. Physician-owned Baylor Scott & White Texas Spine & Joint Hospital. Trinity Valley Community College, a place where you can realize your dreams, jumpstart your future, be successful. Trinity Valley Community College, a place where you can. Welcome to the Valley. Welcome back, Trinity Valley athletes. Baylor Scott and White. <laughs> Welcome back, Trinity Valley athletes. Baylor Scott and White Texas Spine and Joint Sports Medicine is here to keep you going at full force. Our commitment to helping athletes perform at their best on and off the field is our core strength. Whether it's orthopedics, performance, or wellness, physician-owned Baylor Scott & White Texas Spine and Joint Hospital is your choice for better health in East Texas. Just like every hard-driving Cardinal, we're focused on excellence every day. Finding success in life is a journey. Whatever road you're on, take the next step at Trinity Valley Community College. Whether you want to get new job skills, work toward a degree, or just take classes for fun, TVCC can design a plan just for you. As an Aspen Prize Top 150 U.S. Community College, TVCC in Athens, Kaufman, Palestine, and Terrell delivers a quality, affordable education, and financial aid is available. Visit us at tvcc.edu. Michael Hannigan, 
for being our halftime guest. We had to end it quite, quite quickly. We had a, had a little ins issue we had to just take care of here in the press box, but no problem, no harm, no foul. Yes, sir. And we got it taken care of, and I'm back with Joey Snowden and Marcus Dowell. And, guys, M Michael and I were talking, and they agreed with what you guys were saying there in the first half of how well the offensive line had played and the, how well the receivers were catching the ball. Yeah, and not just that, but Darion Peace is spreading the ball around, not just to one, but four or five different receivers, and that bodes well that, for, that for Trinity Valley's offense. And, uh, you know, then he's mixing it up with the running backs coming around the backfield too, so – He's seeing a lot of different guys open. He looks like he's seeing the field very well. And, you know, maybe that week off last week kind of helped him, helped him to do a little film study, uh, get to know what the defense is going to run. I'm sure he was – and he's a smart guy, oh, yeah, smart very. young man. So he, he has had a well of a day in that offensive line at Sarts there. I think the positive thing about Darion is the fact that he's throwing the ball and running the ball so confidently that that shoulder's not an issue, it at appears. All. He's not worried about it at all. Listen, I don't think it's an issue because he wouldn't have been uh, <laughs> curling himself in the air or <laughs> running over Try the fielder. Yeah. So, and if it is, he took some Tylenol at the half, and he'll be right back out. <laughs> and, so. also, and also his backup is doing a, a tremendous <clears throat> job, too. You know, he's – Doing the same thing, using that arm, finding different receivers. Using his legs, too. His legs. Yeah. Yeah. Well, Michael, Michael pointed out at halftime, Matthew Duncan was 5-5 five five when he came in throwing oh, football. Oh, right. I, I tell you, you know, that, that's something maybe you can use going into the playoffs as well uh, on other teams. Of course, right. now I, I'm sure that other teams will be aware of what Trinity Valley's doing with Duncan and Peace, but it's a good combination to have Most back definitely. at quarterback. Most and. Definitely. Kind of keeps both of them in the game, and the lefty you know, and the righty. Huh? Both of them can use their legs, but you know what? What sells it for me on the leg <coughs> usage is we can see from Matthew Duncan right here a pass, and uh, he's right on time with it. And there's that Clarence Dalton reach and grab, but you know, Cla uh, Duncan seeing the field very well is also, and he's doing a great job in there. But <coughs> like Benny hit on earlier, offensive line, offensive line, offensive line, doing a wonderful job. This is probably the best I've seen the offensive line look yes. all season, yes. besides maybe the snow game. But everybody seems to be healthy now and have – I think they're gelling. Well, you know, think about that, that snow game going all the way back to August 24th over there in Malakoff on that hot Thursday night game. Very <laughs> hot. We did. That offensive line was young. There were babes in the woods, and we saw them grow up that very game right in front of our very eyes. And yeah. now this deep into the season now, they're, they're a veteran squad, a veteran unit, and they are playing like it today. Yeah, yes, gelling. I mean, they're finally gelling. And this and is against a good – NEO's got a very, very, good, very good defense. You look yeah. at their numbers, they're legit. I'd like to point out one thing. Okay. Uh -oh. And I'm not going to – maybe I need to lock on water for Mike or whatever I can find. <laughs> The Cardinal offensive line committed zero false starts in the first half. Oh, you just did it then. Oh, my gosh. Zero. You're right, though. They, they was a, there was a very clean first half. I bet they all graded very high in that first half. Yeah, I'm sure they did. I but that, that was something that, it, it, as I was walking around, I was thinking just now while I was taking a little break. And yeah, that's dangerous Michael. when you walk in front. Right, right. Yeah, it is. It is. Because I come up with all kinds of ideas, and they I might would, not all be good. But I uh, never thought about that. Yeah, but uh, no flags on the Cardinals' offensive linemen for a false start this whole first half. That's to me, that's, that's incredible. I didn't realize that either. That's impressive, Joey. That, that's very impressive. Number one, that you thought of it. Number two, that they did it. <laughs> yeah, I mean, because we, we sit here and you talk about them gelling and they're coming together. Now they're a veteran squad. In this game here, we haven't saw the mental mistakes that we've seen in previous games at, from the whole unit. And that's what's impressive, uh, especially this time of the year, knowing you're going to the playoffs. Uh, it's very impressive. Now, I want to warn you guys, because you guys are about to say that people are leaving in droves. Uh, yes, I see them. But they are not leaving in droves. That is the tradition of the Cardettes and former Cardettes going to have a family picture made across the way oh. under, underneath that tree that's been there forever. Gotcha. Cause they did that so last we saw that at homecoming we were like, at Kilgore <laughs> also. Yeah. They did the same thing. Right. With the Ranger Inns yeah. over there, well, same thing. And oh, we yeah, thought they, no and we didn't know where all the people were coming from. <laughs> I was like, they're coming on the visitor side. I have no idea where they're coming from, but yeah, that's what happened. That's and what it was. Joe. It's pretty cool. That's, and, a, that's, that's a lot of former Cardettes over there. Yeah, well, that same old tree right there yeah. by that parking lot. Been there forever. My kids used to play flag football out there when they were little in Pop Warner, and I've I've sat many a times underneath that tree watching other games. So well, now if, you go over there, if you go over there now, you can watch the Cardettes take their family photo. I, yeah. want, I want to. I want to. If there's any wood on the ground, I might get Marcus to put some in my truck that I can take out to the house and use for cooking wood. Oh, <laughs> oh folks.
Well, listen, it's been a great season for the Cardinal football team. Of course, it's not over because by the looks of this, they're definitely headed to the regional playoffs next week and will be either in Tyler to take on the Apaches or will be at home to take on the Nevada College Bulldogs. Those are the two options for the Cardinals will get in the playoffs. Those are the two teams they're going to face. And not just a good season for Trinity Valley, but how about the Cardinal Sports Network, the first year oh, wow. ever awesome. to do – College football, and, I, and I'd say they've done a heck of they've oh knocked it out of the park. Little they, Rangers, they got us looking uh, good. Too. Miles Pennington and his crew, my gosh, the, from every, everybody involved. I mean, yeah. the, the Cameron, have, the work that they've done. Look at some of the shots they gave us this season and some of the instant replays we saw. Yeah. It, this has been absolutely wonderful. And they've even got the guy, yeah, they've the, been all to the family us. going up right by the tree. See, that's their recording history there, folks, that's because right. that's that's been doing, done for the – this is the 63rd year of the Cardettes. Now, as far as I know, it goes back to the 70s, 60s or 70s anyway, oh this tradition started. What a cool shot right there. Yeah, Kudos awesome. to the guys running the camera. Man, I, they do such a great job, especially with the replays and everything. They've done a fabulous job all year long. And, man, I, I, I kind of feel like we're at a, a, a pro level big time. here. Yeah, you know, big even time. though we're not, but uh, – the IT guys are. <laughs> we're, we're just beyond. We're, we're just happy to be here. Present company excluded. Yeah, but we're, we're happy to be here. We're, we've been happy to be a part of it. And this. we don't have to clean up none, Joe. So, Marcus, it, Benny, Marcus wanted to make some history, right? Break records. Uh oh. We broke one. Uh, well, thank you. We so did. We're on the first, the first ever. We're on the first ever. Trinity Valley oh. Sports Network football broadcast. Oh my! So there I you go. He bro he broke his record, Benny. I broke it. He got a record broke. <laughs> oh. Now maybe he won't mention that again for the rest of the year. Oh no! no. <laughs> <laughs> but I broke it. <coughs> we <Excuse> broke me. <laughs> <laughs> Just play it. I think Benny is speechless. Joe, it's the first time I've seen him speechless. <laughs> he'll post it. He'll post it on Facebook. There you That's go. Well, <laughs> I, there you go. I told That's you. That's all once I need. I started walking around. I get good ideas. <laughs> <laughs> Back to the action in the hand. <laughs> Not in the hand. <laughs> NEO will, will get the ball first. They won the toss to start the game and deferred to the second half. So the Cardinals will kick and we will – any other offense, I would think, needs to answer pretty quickly here because the, the Cardinal offense is pretty well proven except for that one second that they had the ball at the end of the first half. If they get the ball, they're going to score. Yeah, they need to, they need to operate quick and in a hurry. <laughs> That's all there is to say about that. And, you know, NEO's averaging 7.5 points a game, and so they've hit their, <laughs> about hit their average for the season. Yeah. <laughs> Whoa. They're in there. Likes to win more. I'm telling you, seven. <laughs> They're like swimwear. Yeah. Like well, I almost bro. choked him on Do Dr. Pepper here when he said that. He's, he brought, brought out a Greg Luganis. Uh, <laughs> and here's the kickoff. <laughs> That's a nice little spin move okay. right there by the young man. He 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 made a bad decision. Yeah. He he, he was let the ball hit the turf because he thought he was going to go and tumble into the end zone and, and it double crossed him and didn't do it. So then he said, "Uh oh!" And then he made the best of the uh oh. He really did, man. <laughs> Race Taylor there. Yes, sir. Talk about Avery Coleman. Ball's going to be spotted at the 17-yard line, so that's where the Norseman will snap it into play to start the second half. Down 27-7 to the Cardinals, ranked seventh in the nation. I remember I used to call these guys the horsemen. Every time I used to do it, like, no, not, not the horsemen. <laughs> I said, oh, He's like, oh the the horsemen. Horsemen. what's the Norseman? <laughs> <laughs> All right, pistol formation. Oh, man. That, oh, there's an ambulance over there, too, uh -oh, Marcus. Not the ambulance. <laughs> oh, my. Pistol formation, there's a handoff to Pippen. Uh-oh. And Pippen fighting for yardage. Just can't get much. There he is One again. yard. Here's a piece of history for you folks. In 1994, the Cardinals had played NEO at the Tyler Shrine Bowl for the NJCAA National Championship game and won 24-17 in overtime. Do you realize that was the first overtime game in the history of college football? I do not, but Whoa. I attended that game. Actually, Marcus yeah, yeah. and I both attended the, 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 the that. 90, the, 90, the 95 season was the first year the NCAA used it, but the NJCAA decided to use it in the in the bowl game that year for the national championship for the first time, and that was the first game to ever use it. Well, we saw history too, Joy. Well, oh. we, we <laughs> saw it. We've made it. We made now, it. now we can die. <laughs> <laughs> oh, what a hit. <coughs> Walk off into the sunset. That was a nice catch too there. Ooh, what a hit by – that was Rayvon Swindle. Yeah, Ray pull, Reed pull him with swindle. that tackle. I mean, on the catch. Yeah. Tui, Tui on the tackle. Oh, that was Tui? Oh. Yeah, Tui Holland oh, yay. There yay, you go. Yay. Third down and sixth for the Cardinals as we get back to serious football. Yeah, here we go. 
Don't say them guys turn a Benny into an animal. <laughs> <laughs> Bodkin looks over the sideline. Looks like he didn't. He saw something he didn't like, and it's changing the play now. Crucial down right here, third. And yeah, five. it's very crucial for them. There's oh. a pass. Oh. It's picked off. That's going to the house. Tui. David to a holla, nay, nay, yay, for the six points yay, on the yay. pick six. 22-yard interception return for a touchdown. Oh, my right. goodness. Look well, we that. said that uh, NEO had to strike quick, but we didn't mean that way. <laughs> they, they threw struck. it to the wrong team. Yeah. Ooh, 22 Tui. yards on the return by Tui. Tui won't get a ball and, up, y'all. That's, that's, that's Tui's first touch, yeah. uh, defensive touchdown of the year. Tell Tui they, he got to give him the ball. This ain't NFL. <laughs> uh, he's going to take that one to the house. Yeah, he's trying to take it on. They trying yeah. to get the ball. Ref like, throw me the ball. Yeah, yeah. He's going to hide it, put it in his pants <laughs> in a minute. <laughs> that one's, uh, one's going to go into the uh, the record book. Yeah. There, there, there it is. <laughs> Ty Powers on to kick the extra points for the Cardinals. 33-7 our score. Kick is up, and it is good. And what a great defensive play for the pick six by David Tuahala. Nene Ye, his Yay. first interception touchdown of the year pick six. for the Cardinals. It is now 34-7. Cardinals with 13-18 left to go in the third quarter. Wow. And, and, uh, and, I, and if you're the NEO offense, you got to go right back on the field. So, Joe, that makes – 18 interceptions. I think two he's down there still hopping around <laughs> on the sideline. Oh, yeah, yeah. He's he doing a dirty bird dance. <laughs> We're very thankful for the cloud cover that we've been experiencing right now Ooh, here. Thank you. We'd like for it to stay around a little bit longer, but those are out of our control. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But it feels so good here now. I can see the numbers. That's a good thing. Uh, Trinity Valley is going to kick this ball back again to NEO because they'll get another opportunity again to go at it and – they're going to have to go really quick now. We talked about them need to get off the bat and in a hurry and score some points, but man, Trinity Valley just getting too tough for them. Thirty-four to seven. Ooh Defense clicking, offense clicking. Pedro Altamirano tees it up at his own thirty-five-yard line. There's the kick. And there's there's the well, that is a line <laughs> yeah. drive, man. Oh mercy, he kicks that one. Out of the field. Joy, that interception was the 18th interception by the Cardinal defense this season. 18. Yes, that is 18. incredible. That is incredible. And Isaiah Crosby probably has about 10 of them. He's, well, he's got five. He's, he's, it seems like 10, <laughs> but he's got yeah. five. He's well, got five. I hadn't seen him on the field today. Uh, he's, he's probably out there. He's just kind of. Maybe I've overlooked him. Maybe a little bit nicked up, though. Yeah, true. That was a that was a physical game they played against Kilgore. And Man. Nimi last week was a physical and, game yeah, as Nimi well. Yeah, Nimi was too. So, <clears throat> I think Corey Kelly's playing center field today. There's a snap. Pretty good run. Well, wow. I tell you, still going. He, he picked his way to about eight yards. Certainly did. That's twenty-two back in there. Emory Neely. Yeah. About seven yards, actually. And that was Corey Kelly on the tackle. That's not Neely, excuse me. That's number 32, actually. Had a Cardinal down across the way. I think it's a cramp by the way he was act, uh, acting over there. Oh, yeah, I see. And that's Frederick Watson that uh, was in there running the football for NEO. And when Watson's got the ball, he's looked pretty good with the ball in his hands running the football. Young man's coming off the field under his own power. That's a good sign there. Well, that's a very good sign. The John Palam Palamo. That's who that maybe is. a looks like maybe a shoulder issue, possibly. That's Trail Riley that's injured. <coughs> Troy Scott to get him taken care of. One of the best in the business. Definitely. You know he he's got to get all those guys ready every week, and that, that's a chore. Kudos to him. Second down, two yards to go. Quarterback, quarterback keeper. Yeah. Quarterback does call his own number, picks up the first down. Like he was good for that first. Gain of five there. Some jawing going on out now. Yeah, now. yeah. Yeah, that was a big old boy. He got up and looked up. He's like, uh-oh. He had to look at the scoreboard. Yeah. Yep, yeah. <laughs> yeah. look at the scoreboard. That's now. actually B.J. Higgins in a quarterback now. Well, Higgins got that first down. 
So Higgins getting his shot at it here in the second half. Three wide receivers for NEO. Going to be a handoff to Watson, and Watson gains about three yards on that run and bring up second down and seven. Tackled by a whole flock of Cardinals there. NEO seems pretty content at just getting what they can get and controlling the clock now. Our initial hit was <coughs> Byron Mathis. Yeah, and Victor Clark, too. He's going to come off and take a break. Victor Clark is a big young man. Yes, he is. He is a load. Cornbread and Pinto Bean. Good run stopper. There's a handoff, and Watson again. Well, they running game kind of working just a little bit right now. It's getting a little chippy out there across yeah. the way. Yeah, yeah. I and mean, if you're the Cardinals, you just got to pull back from that. Well, you have to because if you get ejected from this game, you'll have to miss the first half of the playoff yeah. game next week. Oh, that's going to be bad. You're going to do you're going to do some running too. <laughs> yeah, it sounds like Marcus is speaking from experience. Yeah, experience. Yeah, I try to get tough one time. For a running back that never got off to a slow start, as he reminded me about three weeks ago, he yeah. sounds like he's run for punishment, though. Yeah, yeah. I caught an attitude in practice one time. Third down and three up and coming for NEO. Man in motion right to left. He did drop the ball. Yeah, he dropped it. He picked it up. It bounced, it bounced right, back, bounced right back up into the bread basket. It's going to bring up fourth down, though, for the Golden Norsemen. They're sending the punt unit out real quick. Yeah, did a basketball. But it, it looked like a little dribble of the basketball there. He Noy, went right back yeah. up to Noy it. Noy Flemings almost got we'll it. Watch it right here. There's they a flag down. There's been a late flag thrown out there. Yep, if it's against the Cardinals, it will definitely bail out the Golden Norsemen. But there is a flag down. Oh, yeah. Let's see what the call is here. It's been chippy on that other side over there for the last three plays, so they might have finally just said enough is enough. Right, y'all talking too much. It's in the area of the secondary for the Cardinals as well. And if this is, I'm I'm sure Coach Poe is going to want to answer. <laughs> Sportsmanlike conduct against oh. the Cardinals. Unsportsmanlike conduct against the NEO, they'll offset. All right. Dead ball, so it'll be no fourth replay down. of the downs. Yeah. Be fourth Ooh. down. They got away with that one. Man. <laughs> I'd hate being the one to come up and tell Poe that it's going to be. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. Yeah. He, he, not only would he took some shoes off, he might have took his hat off, too, and his yeah. headphones slammed into the turf. <laughs> yes, sir. Uh-oh. Oh, I thought they were go. Well, it kind of looked like what. Oh, they were. They got snapped a time out here. They snapped it to the up back. The Cardinals <clears throat> call a timeout yep. at the last second. They had some tricky up their sleeve. And, and that was Miles Hill there, Marcus. Yeah. You tried to call him earlier. He wasn't in the game, but there he was, there he the up back. And so they were trying to get him the ball to possibly get that first down. 10-28 remaining to go here in the third quarter. 34-7 our score. It's all Cardinals right now. And Cardinals look really good on offense and defense today, especially that offensive line. We've talked about it and talked about it. But, man, kudos to these guys up front today. The Hogs are winning it. That is interesting to me, Joy. <laughs> well, <laughs> yeah, we got I, quiet. We got kind of got quiet. Well, were you dreaming yeah, about yeah, it or yeah, what? Because yeah. your eyes just totally shut on me <laughs> in the middle of the broadcast. <laughs> <coughs> Pardon me. Well, that I, I kind of went into that wood stupor. smoke. Yeah, that sun kind of puts you in a coma there. I went in the stupor. Ten twenty-eight left in the third quarter. Cardinals up thirty-four to seven. Neo facing a fourth down in. Four after the Cardinal timeout, I think NEO definitely had a fake punt called on that play. Almost definitely. Well, the Cardinals will be ready for it right now if that were to happen. If you're the Cardinals, you got to watch the football, though, and not jump off sides here. And they're going to run the oh, same wow. thing. Oh, fool me wow. once, but don't you, fool you me you twice. Got to be kidding it goes me. nowhere. That they'll turn it over to the Cardinals. Who does that? Well, when, you, when you're down 34-7, I mean, you might as well roll the dice because you're not going to the playoffs or anywhere else for that matter. I yeah. mean, switch it Just up a little bit, though. <laughs> back home to Oklahoma. That's about <laughs> it. Wow. But yeah, well, I mean, Benny's the, right. The exact same play. Though. Maybe he had a little wow. bit more pizzazz on it. Maybe well, a pass right, or yeah, something instead of the same play. <laughs> It did look like the same play that had been called. Yeah, it, yeah, it, it was. It, exactly. I believe it was. Probably a different, uh, uh, what you call it? Well, different direction. Second, he, yeah. Was going to go left the first time, maybe right this time. I don't know. Trinity Valley has the ball. Peace with the pass. Caught and complete. A nice hit along that far sideline. 
He's taking a hard hit for just picking up one yard. That's Jared Jackson. That was Justice Conway with the hit. Cardinals now going with four wide receivers. Stacked left and right. A little oh, quick pass. Same. Jackson oh. again. Face mask. Uh -oh, yep. Yeah, face mask, and that's going to be a flagrant foul right there. 15 yard variety. I mean, back to back, same play. Boy, Jared Jackson's just having a tough go of it, ain't he? <laughs> he sure is. He got, he got pummeled for one yard. He gains four on the next play and gets his head almost ripped completely <laughs> off his body. <laughs> that pretty much sums it up. <laughs> <laughs> yep. But he does give uh, the Cardinals a first down with his sacrifices. <laughs> <laughs> yes, he does. 15-yard penalty down there. Oh, yeah, that was the big kind the right big there. Yeah, big, the big, big one. penalty. Beast back to pass. Pass over the middle. Caught complete. Oh, oh another on. face Come mask. On. They didn't, whoa. They, Not this time. What was that, though? Well, they didn't call it, but. He uh, whirly bird him on the head. So we'll, we'll, we'll get a replay on that at some point, I'm sure. That yeah. was Jarrell Washington there. Yeah. What a great job of Darion Pisa catching him on the post pattern. Yeah, we're, here it is right here, that replay. That was a replay there, and it's too quick for us to see that play on the field is a running play, and one yard pickup on the play, the ball will be spotted at the three now. So second down and goal for the Cardinals. Cardinals really don't have to be in any kind of hurry right. whatsoever that's here. What I, that's what I was thinking. Football. I was like, yeah, take your time, guy. Darion Pease calls his own number. Oh, and oh it's a shot to the head. head. My was, goodness, no. he's ridden down and hitting the head. You're right. That was a flagrant shot to the head, not called. Debbie Hoffman looked like hit to the head. It's going to bring up third down and go from the five. What? Wow. I hate to see Darion taking that kind of punishment in a 34-7 to game. Exactly. Peace now going to pass it back across the field. Big boy. He's got his receiver. Ooh. He oh. Took a, he's, he took three to bring him down. He got hit in the wrong part of the body there, too. Yeah, right in the Teletubby. Now, if you're the Cardinals, do you take the three points or do you, you go for it? You got to might well kick it. Well, your defense is playing. That was Jemiah Harvey, number 56, that reported eligible in that play that caught that yeah, football. <laughs> what a great play call, though. Cardinals are going to go well, for, it. for it. They're going for it. Pease calls his own number again, trying to race to the left side. He will not get there. Wow. Side to side, NEO's done a pretty good job today bottling up Darion Peace on the run. I still like the call, though. Oh, um, yeah, most definitely. With the way your defense is playing, I, I, I like their chances of protecting a 27-point lead. Right. I'd rather give it to Hyman Drinkard in that case, though. But, you know, Darion Peace will work, too, if he can get in. But he didn't. So the good thing about that is that Cardinals come out on defense now, and they're pinning right. NEO deep in their own territory. And now for NEO, you've got to be careful with your snap, too. And with the Cardinals, you want to make sure everybody's straight on what coverage you're in, too, because we don't want to see a yeah, breakdown right, of communications right, right. like we saw earlier. You don't need a 97-yard pass play right here. No, we don't. Cardinals appear to be going pretty much man on this. Real Howling playing safety. They're just going to run it out of the end zone, and he's stacked up. Right at the line of scrimmage. Nothing but red pants on the ground. <laughs> yeah. If you're any L, you just want to be careful here how, how you protect the football. Looks like number six, Reed Pulliam there, made the initial contact for the Cardinals. So second down, nine yards to go. NEO with three wide to the left. Tight end lined up on the right. It's going to be a handoff. Not much doing there, guys. Gets that across the five-yard line to the six. Big ring up third down and seven for the Golden Norseman. That was big Byron Mathis on the tackle, Mr. guys. Mathis. Mathis is having a day today. Chances are. Another one of those run <laughs> stoppers and a big guy as well. 
you got to keep those big guys hydrated on a day like this and yeah. keep them fresh. Yeah, for sure. Cardinals get good field positions as they get a hold here. Yeah, Anio's going to go to a four-wide receiver look here. Cardinals still playing that one deep safety. Which the Cardinals now the defensively have to play man-to-man. -man. The There's a safety coming over Number for the oh. interception. Oh, he stepped up. He's going to catch that howling there. Interception number 19 on the season. Yeah, yeah. I, I just said it. He's playing the one deep safety there, and so right he comes him. over. He rolls over the left for help, and uh, I'll tell you what, the quarterback needs to go shake his hand right there because <laughs> he was beat on the play. He was. But Howling made a great play defensively there as the center fielder coming over to help out and pick that ball off. Look where the Cardinals have set up shop now. <laughs> at the 40-yard line after giving it up at the two. So that's a pretty good exchange right there. Yes, exactly. it is. We'll take that every day. Short field. See if the Cardinals take a deep shot here, uh, Joey. This is a time you can. Uh, they, they might. Cardinals going five wide here. Peace looking downfield. Over the middle's wide open. Caught and completed there. Stick it in there. Big tight end. That was Andrew Allison on the reception. 18, Andrew Allison is correct, Benny. I'll tell you what, you them glasses must be yeah, have x-ray vision because you're seeing everything today. I'm squinting, <laughs> I'm squinting into that sun. I promise you that much. Jason Smith with the tackle. Boy, Jason had to get out of there, Joe. He got yeah, it, hit pretty hard. He took me out for a sec. He lost his helmet, too, on the play, so he'll come out for at least one play. Officials having – a little top Some type of conference there. Any old coach was giving him a few pointers of what they should have called there. Yeah. Mm. Oh, we're on the clock. He said the game must go on. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> Clarence Dalton in the backfield now. Pease calls his own number. Trying to stay patient. No blocking, and he is – Boy, they they have bottled up Darion since that start he got off to. I'll tell you, yeah, that he, was that was uh, Solomon Wright. If you're familiar with yeah. rodeo, Darion yeah. Peace was just bulldogged. Yeah. My goodness. Yeah, they try to they try to hurt the quarterback. Well, if his shoulder wasn't hurting, it will be after that one. Peace back to pass. Fires one over the middle, caught and complete. And that is a nice catch right there. I think it's Allison again. Allison again. Brought down by Goodness Michael. gracious. Yep. Michael Allison Duffel. with a sure hands. So it'll be third down and let's call it two to go from the box here. Empty set backfield. Man in motion. Quarterback's going to keep it. Uh, yeah, I just – you got to give it to your running back right there, I no. think. You can't do everything yourself. Now it's fourth down and three. You lose yeah, give, a yard. Give your running back a chance to make a play. Oh, my. Yeah, he's running the RPO right there, so it's a run pass. It's basically his decision, but your running back had a whole head of steam moving around that right side, and no one was there. He would have picked up the first and a little bit more. We've had a 38-yard attempt. We've seen him make from 31 and 35 today. Missed from 50. So Ty Powers for the attempt at 38. Ineo bringing the house. That kick is up, and that kick is no good. Wide left. Mm. Well, so hit, hats off to the Ineo defense. They wow. turned the Cardinals away. They, they did. They Need a little help from their offense now to get back. Try to get back in this game anyway. One more score won't get them back into it, but it'll get, it, get you a lot closer than you are now. Four minutes, 20 seconds. Up in the third quarter. So, you know, Trinity Valley started that drive at the 40-yard line and ended it at the 21. Yeah, you want to get more out of that, but 38 yards is definitely within Ty's range, and he had the distance. He just was off sure, to the, off to the, off yeah, to the left. Sure, to the left. And I don't think the wind's playing any havoc right now with it because the flagpole, the flag is just steel right now. Still got like the Cardinals chances with the defense out there. Oh, sure. Interesting little formation right there. Oh. It's going to be the handoff to Watson, and he goes Looking nowhere. Cruising. 
pack of a flock of birds. Got him. I don't think we're going to give him any game there. Victor Clark, the run stopper for the Cardinals. <laughs> You're not going to run over him, I guarantee you. No. It's like hitting a brick wall. Mr. Victor. <laughs> NEO now running a two backfield set. Two running backs in the backfield. Go on to the arrow. BJ no, Higgins pass is completed, but the receiver pays for it after he catches it. Watson does. I think that was number eight. Yeah, I was trying to. 88, yeah. Yeah, Ronte Blow. That's who I thought it was. He read the play initially, and from the very get-go, I should say, and made the play on it. A great play by Ronte Blow. It yeah. was. Yeah, he blowed that screen. Blowed it up. Yeah, I'm <laughs> you. Third down and 14 now for the Golden Norseman. You would think this would be a definite pass down. Running back out of the backfield. Cardinals have it covered well. That is almost oh, picked off. A I beautiful play defensively by the Cardinals. Like that was uh, Jerry be, Harper. That would be number 10, jo oh. uh, Jarrell Washington. Oh. I believe, well, I may be 13. wrong. That may not be. That know. may be. Well, I'm just going to quit. <laughs> Let me see there. Hey, yeah, Number's yeah. hard to see yeah, there. That's Jerry Harper. I think it was 13. Yeah, Jerry Harper. Was yeah, Jerry it is Harper. 13. Marcus, you're right. Jerry Harper. He had him covered, well covered. <laughs> I tell you what, from over here, you can't see those numbers very well at all. Oh, and when that sun glares like it is today. Levi Hoffman with a nice booming kick. Fielded at the 45. Over the midfield stripe and out of bounds <laughs> he goes at around the – they're going to mark him out the 45. Nice return. So, again, the Cardinals get great field position. Not a lot of time left in this third quarter. Two minutes, 37 seconds to be exact. <laughs> so first and 10, Matthew Duncan in at quarterback now for the Cardinals. We'd be surprised if Matthew doesn't go the rest of the way. Duncan with the handoff and goodness, yeah. nothing going on. Five yard loss. That's one of the few times we've seen a negative negative play for the Cardinal offense today. Yeah, it's Micah Cooper on the carry. Michael Devon Devon Rowe with the tackle. Yep, biggest loss. So second down and fifteen now. Back to pass, Duncan. Steps up, avoids the sack. Oh. Fumble on the play. It's Trinity Valley fumble. picks it up. Definitely a fumble. It definitely went backwards. And after all that, uh, a penalty marker comes in. It looks like. One yard gaining. Maybe that was a bean bag. I, I think saw. it was a bean bag. Yeah, it was yeah. a bean bag. Nonetheless, it's going to bring up third down and 14 for the Cardinals. So third and 14 now, Cardinals come out, three wide four wide receivers set. Three to our near side, one to the far side. Duncan's going to pass downfield. Oh, Nobody home. He's seen it, but he <laughs> just. I think there was miscommunication from yeah. one of the receivers there. I think he was supposed to turn a, to a post, or not a post, but a corner, and he did a post. And the two teams are trying to out-ugly out each other. <laughs> <laughs> That's what it is right now. Yeah. We just need to have a running clock. <laughs> One minute, 30 seconds left in this third quarter, though. Clocks are ticking. Been a beautiful afternoon for football, though, in the right. early November. Right. Yeah, this is the first time we've seen the thunder from down under. It is, James isn't Allen. it? James Allen. Yeah. There you go. So the Cardinals punt for the first time today. It's a nice end over end kick. Filled it at the one. A nice run right there on the return to the 21. 
On a yeah. punt he probably shouldn't have caught because yeah. he caught it at the one, like you said. And that's Reese Taylor again, the daredevil. But he got it out past the 20, so he did his job. He did his job, yeah. Again, Card folks, if the Cardinals win, they will be in the playoffs next week for sure. If they win and Tyler beats Navarro, they will go to Tyler to play next Saturday. If Navarro beats Tyler and the Cardinals win, the Cardinals will host Navarro here next Saturday in the first round of the SWJCFC playoffs. Looking forward to that. Of course, Benny will let everyone know here within the next week all the scenarios and where yeah, Training Valley will officially play in time and everything else. By nightfall tonight, everything will be plain. NEO going two, three wide receivers right. There's a handoff again to Watson. Watson bottled up. Not much doing there. Not at all. Cardinal defense just not allowing too much on the ground today. Finally getting inside a minute left in the third quarter after our very first quarter. We looked like we were headed for a quick finish today, but oh well. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, oh well. Oh well. I mean, it's still early technically. It's, it's just uh, – yeah, It is. We started at noon. We're just – Yeah. <laughs> Those last couple of minutes, though, uh, in the second, <laughs> second quarter, quarter, they lasted maybe 40 minutes. But in, Indeed, they did. Everybody took a timeout. <laughs> <laughs> Man in motion here. Now trip to the right side, a little bubble screen action here. And that's oh, Hayden uh, Hack going across the field. Hack has a little room. Hack with a spin move uh, gets the firm. first down. I don't know if the play was designed that way, but it was turned out very nicely for it them. Did. He made yeah. a great play. Hack, one of the leading receivers on this NEO team. B.J. Higgins not looking too bad out there at quarterback for NEO after the change from Bodkin. Has been effective, yes. Hasn't scored, but he's been effective. That two men in motion there. Yeah, it was. Oh, I didn't call it. And, oh, Almost they, picked they off. Picked off. I'll tell you what, uh, Christian Jones was the intended receiver, and Thank God for the cock operator there letting it go out <laughs> and <laughs> yeah, like, the end of the uh, third quarter. Yeah. And 34-7 uh, to seven is our score here from Bruce Field in Athens, Texas. The Cardinals on top. We'll take a break, and we'll be right back. Yes, sir. No one ever said you need to be sick to get better. That's why at Baylor Scott & White, we're innovating how people get well and stay that way. Where prevention Last might one. just be the prescription. Way to work. Teaching is on the treatment plan. That's what I'll do. And everyone is always on the same team. Yours. Baylor Scott and White Health. Changing health care for the better. I'm thinking today, well, I'm not going to wear a, a We're jacket back. Or... We're back once again, 34 to 7. Your Cardinals are on top, and this is the last quarter here, Joy. The very uh, last. The last quarter. This is doing of the here. regular season. Of the regular season. You're right. Next week starts the playoffs. Yeah. Just like that, in that order. Guys are flipping it, out there. It, it just seems like we just started yesterday. Yeah, it does. You know, this, this season has just blown by. It goes by quickly. It really does. We were talking about that at the, at the college the other day, about how it seemed like just yesterday we were getting ready for the snow game. Yeah. And now we're getting wow. ready for the snow. <laughs> <laughs> Most definitely. We're getting ready for the snow. And not, I don't, not, I, not, not literally, I hope. Well, I'm not a fan, I'll tell you that right now. <laughs> I don't like cold weather. Hang on for the fourth quarter, folks. 34-7 Cardinals. Here we go. Higgins still the quarterback. Higgins back to pass. Has a receiver. Wide Caught open. complete across midfield. Goes out of bounds at the 43. Knocked out of bounds by Joel <coughs> Washington. That's 86, Sherrod Davis. Mm. It looks like any O. They're just tired hands on yeah, the hips. Just, there. Well, it's been a long season. You're 0 and yeah. 8. I mean, you're ready to wrap it up, quite honestly. When you know you're not in the, going to the just playoffs. Can't get up for it. They've given a good effort today. They really have. There's a snap. Higgins back to pass. Has a man on the right side. Wide, wide open. Oh, oh my, my goodness. Oh, man. Overthrown. Yeah. But nobody with him. 
No. Yeah. <laughs> no. By himself. He was the only person who yeah. was with him was Casper. I'm telling you. <laughs> and he, and he was friendly goes. He was friendly today. That landing lady leaning over the fence over there was the closest yep. to it. Yeah. Right. I'm telling you. Wow. Now that was some busted coverage there, Joe. Yeah, the fans gonna have to keep their head on a swivel over there. <laughs> Get one in the face in a minute. <laughs> <laughs> Coach took the whole front line out that time. Second down and 10 now for NEO. Back to pass. Under duress. Higgins does a good job at avoiding the sack. He goes forward and picks up a positive yard there. So Higgins definitely the more agile, mobile quarterback. Jamarian Gibson makes the tackle, number 29 yes, for sir. the Cardinals. Oh, Gibson. Third down and nine, up and coming now for NEO. Both teams are very content at this point to let the clock run. Here we go. Man in motion. Higgins back to pass. Higgins is down the left side. Ooh. It's caught, but out of bounds. Ooh. And a great job of the Cardinal look, defender look up, turning around oh. and seeing the ball, too. So he might have been called for pass interference had he not turned around. Got a Cardinal on the ground. I'm trying to see why they were still uh, blocking the back there. I thought they were fighting for a minute. Hmm. Yeah, it looks like he's holding his hand, and hopefully that young man will be okay. Yeah, Joe, they were still First scrapping. Guy. Fourth down now, nine yards to go. Tell you what, that was a good catch by J.J. Pippen, even though it was out of bounds. He went up <laughs> there and got it. And I'm sure that's what these coaches are looking at and evaluating right now. Who do I have? Who do I have that can make the plays? And you're making decisions for next year's roster as well. Higgins back to pass. Pass caught oh, complete. Where is that? Every time, every time you turn around, Reese Taylor's making a play or <laughs> involved in a play for NEO. Yeah, he is a playmaker. Just runs a crossing route right across the middle of the field, and he's able to get itself open. NEO had a pretty successful drive so far. Right. But the clock is Cardinals' best friend, though. It, yeah, it really is. Mine, too. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Your eyes have been yeah, shut more than once. Yeah, man. Oh, man. Back to pass. Higgins has a man wide oh, open oh, again he and he just killing himself. overthrows him. I mean, that's two touchdowns that he missed. Well, there's some wow. definite confusion on the secondary right now for the Cardinals. Just, just glad the quarterback is overthrowing him. Yeah, he, I mean, there's – Multiple times today yeah. so far that Cherney Valley has avoided the big play by NEO just because the quarterback just overthrown the receivers. Mm. Higgins gets the snap. It's going to be a handoff. That's going to be Pippen around the left side. Look at him go. Nice run by the young man. Chased down by Jarrell Washington. He gets around the outside. The edge is set up nicely for him. He picks up the first down. Move the change. Move the chain and keep the clock running. This might be one of the better 0-8 teams I've ever seen play college football. <laughs> right. They have played well today at times. Yeah, at times they really have. I mean, you just got to wonder. I mean, we all would know what terrible looks like, but NEO is not terrible no, football not. team at all. Pass downfield, incomplete again, thrown way over the head, but Whoa. threw it in a triple coverage there, so ill advised yeah. to Hunter Tipton. So second down, 10 yards to go for NEO. to go for any old. Little rhyme there, Marcus. I know. That's why I said it. <laughs> <I'm not> 
<laughs> I liked it. I liked yeah, it. He's, yeah. he's honest if nothing else. Yeah, I liked it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> May have to check his sugar to a minute. <laughs> speaking in tongues over here. There's a handoff. Stood up at the line of scrimmage about the Cardinal defense. Yeah, Pippen. Right. Aston Payne with the top. Yeah, Noah Fleming's in there and as Noah well, Fleming's. Marcus. Yes, sir. Third down for the uh, Golden Norseman. Higgins calls for the ball, three-step drop. Looks right, going to have to step up, and he throws it. And that is a nice catch right there under duress. Yeah, he caught that ball. That's Hunter Tipton again. Had a flag down. Oh, no. Penalty on the play, holding NEO. Oh. Interesting decision. Do you leave it fourth and ten or third and twenty? Third and twenty. Being what I've seen uh, by the quarterback so far, I'd say uh, I wouldn't mind having third and twenty. Well, you're going to get your wish then. <laughs> <laughs> this is going to make you happy. There you go. Well, it's not going to make me happy, but <laughs> I can. It may not make Trinity Valley happen if they finally complete one of those long passes <laughs> though, <laughs> that they've missed on all day long. Well, they weren't going to line up and go for a field goal anyway. I mean, yeah. the field goal's not going to do any good. Not a whole lot of third down and 20 plays in the playbook. <laughs> There's some in there, but they don't you, work. you got to have uh, everybody on a go route. Higgins, three-step drop, looks left, throws left. Uh, whoa, a lot of grabbing going on over there <laughs> by the Trinity Valley defender. He got away with one right there. That was certainly pass interference. No harm, no foul. Come on. That's exactly right. <laughs> well, I guess they're going to punt it instead of go for it. That's I'd be surprised if they punted from the – I think they're going to try a field goal, oh, field Marcus, goal. for okay. 50. Yeah. Or maybe less than 50 there. At a 47 yarder. Levi Hoffman. Hoffman. Kick is up. And he misses left. Oh, wide left, just like the other one. And the ball goes over to the Cardinals with 11.02 <coughs> left in the fourth quarter. The clock's still running. Was running. <laughs> but we're all in favor of that. <laughs> <laughs> 11 minutes on the dot, says the clock. So, if you're Trinity Valley right here, guys, uh, I guess your offensive coordinator, do you want to run the football here you on out? It, or? You run it, Joe. Oh, uh, yeah. I think you want to get out of here now. Just try to get some of these running backs a little keep, time. You, you don't want to get anybody hurt. You keep your front, line, point, front yeah. line players out of harm's way for sure. Who we got back there? Duncan's coming in the at quarterback for the Cardinals. And Clarence Dalton also on the left side of Duncan. Cardinals going stacked receivers to the left and right. Going to be a pass, Ooh. and that pass is incomplete. He raffled that ball out of there. That he, did. he did. Got a strong arm. So much for working on the clock. <laughs> yeah. Right, right. I'm like, wow. So 10.55 left to go in this one. Cardinals up 34-7. to seven. Second down and 10 up and coming. Matthew Duncan, the quarterback. What's the dunk? Two and zero as a starter this year. Duncan from the gun, gonna pass this one as well. He's gonna have to step up and run. Now he gets it off uh -oh. to Clarence Dalton. This is gonna go for a big gainer. Oh, oh my, my goodness, Ronaldo oh. Nehemiah! <laughs> Whoopie. Wow. And a late flag comes flying. Oh, yeah, no. Dalton's going to have to come out for a play here. He's a little Pull hobbled. Put a house on. Yeah, that was shades of Ronaldo <laughs> Nehemiah. I didn't think he could jump that high. <laughs> Personal foul on the defense. 15 yards tacked on the end of the run. Give the tight. Cardinals great field position. Yeah, he heard that boy good. Yep, Dalton looked like one of them deer on Highway 19. <laughs> 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 
But the ones you don't hit, huh? <laughs> yeah, the ones that jumps over your truck. <laughs> right. Yeah. And you're glad they done it. That's right. So the Cardinals have a first down. Clock's running with 10.35 and change. Play clock at 30. They can just milk this clock all the way down. If I was a lineman, I wouldn't want to do that, though. <laughs> I wouldn't want to stay down like that. There's a pass deflected Whoa. at the line, incomplete. Whoa. That's got to be a <laughs> rough in the passer yeah, there. Something. Christian Jones, I believe, got a hand on that one. Big number 95. Yeah, big number 52. Solomon Wright just chunked Matthew Duncan to the ground like a rag doll, and <laughs> nothing was called. Yes, he did. Two seconds after the ball left his hand, mind you. Probably not permittable. Yeah, the officials wanting to go home, too. <laughs> <laughs> it just said, let's play. Duncan with a quick pass <sighs> out to the left side. Caught incomplete. Well, one of his buddy, buddies tried to give him some blocking down there, but the other one didn't. And Another flag down the line. Well, well, I hope we don't any old coach is out on the field, too. Yeah. Uh-oh. Whoa. He, we have flag fast. Oh, he got a bottom. Oh, Buffing on the catch. and I've never seen him let a coach come out. Yeah, I don't think marks. the coach yeah. is supposed to come out like that. But yeah. if you're 0-8, well, you won't get suspended for the next game. Yeah. <laughs> hey, when you come out that far, you, it's fighting. <laughs> He just walked stormed out there with his head off. Oh, my. Yeah, that's usually a, a penalty if coach comes out on the field that far. Talk about Coach Poe. He may take every bit of clothes he has <laughs> off. <laughs> oh, man. My goodness. He He's stormed out there, man. He is official, irate. Official coming to give the signal. Oh, an ejection on NEO. Uh-oh. NEO got to go. Young man, if he's a freshman, will have to miss the first half of next year's first game. Oh, wow. They, they keep it that long? Yes. Oh, wow. That's a torturous Ooh, penalty right I'm there. I'm telling you, man. <laughs> you think you think get my last game anyway? No, next year you're going to. Golly. If he's a freshman. Wow. Yeah, I don't think they're going to call his major at four-year school so he can't play the first quarter. God. I tell you what, uh, any old coach gave the officials some business while ago. <laughs> he, he was, he was past the hash marks there, and he's still not happy across the way. No, he, you can see his body language from here. So that's why them refs sprint off the field when the brother goes. Hey, yeah, Pew! a lot of choice words start coming out, <laughs> and they ain't the kind you hear in church either. I'm I guarantee to tell you, you. I know it. Ain't no Bible yeah. study word. <laughs> 10.05 left to go in this contest. He's been stuck on 10.05 for about five minutes. Yeah. Now it's rolling. The young man that got ejected is having to leave the playing field. Duncan with a little flare out pass to the right. Caught complete, still battling for yardage and three flags simultaneously oh, no, no flag. hit the field at once. Did United. that one official have three flags in his pocket? <laughs> it looked like they came from the same person. I don't know if they saw the same thing, but they all threw it. Yeah. Holding is the call against Shirley Valley. So you kind of knew that was coming. Yeah, yeah. Unfortunately, you did. My goodness. So Trinity Valley had the football at the 24-yard line of NEO. First down and 20 to go. Maybe less than 20. I'd say 18. Make your mind up. <laughs> I'll try to. He keeps moving the box on me. Duncan's pass Oops. is oh. delivered a gift to the Defensive back for NEO, and now he's got a lot of room to scamper. Finally brought down across midfield. Well, simply put, that pass stayed in the air too long. Yeah, it was uh, Jadarian Gibbs on the return on the interception. He had no velocity on that ball at all. Yeah, he tried to lob that in. The old lob don't work sometimes. Well, I'm not a fan of that play. Looks like the old pop, <laughs> low old pop pass. I used to throw the, the late Clay Smith when I was a Malakoff Tiger. 
Pop yeah. Pass. I was a sophomore, and I had a big old tight end, and I'd throw the ball down at his feet. And Coach Henry Hamilton, our coach, my middle name's Ray, he come, he started calling me Benny May. Uh, said, hold on. said, you got a 6'5 tight end, you're throwing it 1-2. <laughs> <laughs> to a 1-2. Which means nothing to this game, folks, right, I, right, I, right. I, I assure you. <laughs> Oh, man. How many passes did y'all end up throwing? Back? Not many. Okay. <laughs> so you really got criticized. <laughs> oh, man. It was, it was a nice interception, though, by number 26, Amari and Dickens, though, and a nice return as well. So bring up second down now and six to go. Any Owen Cardinal territory. Hadn't said that many times today. Not many. Higgins back to pass. Pass downfield. Call Ooh. complete. Christian Jones will go out of bounds at the 34-yard line for NEO. Jerry Carper read the play and took on the blocker, but he, just, right. he tried to make a great tackle, but he just couldn't get it right. done. He allowed the back to slip down to the field for the game. There's another young man that's had a pretty good game today, too. Christian Jones, number four for NEO. Higgins back to pass. Looks right, throws right, has a man wide open again. Oh, wow. He fumbles the football. They're going to call it incomplete. Oh, oh my goodness. Uh, that's another <laughs> one. <laughs> another wide open. But no that was gainer. just a crazy play. That was wow. Reese Taylor wide open. Wow. I really thought he had possession of Cardinals that. Cardinals have had some coverage issues they're definitely going to have to address because I realize they don't have all the front – their front liners not necessarily in the game now. Right. And some kids are playing out of position even potentially. And, and then you, you've got the score of 34-7 to 7 also. It's a blowout, so you got to wonder where the concentration level is too. True. Navarro at Tyler, folks, at 3 o'clock is a big game to keep your eye on. Higgins with a handoff to Pippen and Pippen – We'll get two yards on that run for NEO. If Navarro wins, the Bulldogs will be here at Bruce Field next Saturday. If Tyler wins, the Cardinals will be at Tyler next Saturday. That's how simple it is if the Cardinals win this game today, as it appears they're going to. It comes down to that game, winner take all, as far as that game goes. So the other games will be played at three? Yes. Okay. Navarro at Tyler at three and Kilgore at Blinney at three, which has no bearing on anything. Higgins with a hard count. Almost got the Cardinals to jump. Higgins under duress. He's going to be taken down by the shoe. <laughs> that was an excuse me <laughs> sack right there. I think he stepped right in his grasp. Keenan Whitehurst. Yeah, that'll be Whitehurst with the, Whitehurst. With the sack. <laughs> he kind of got in the way and got a sack. <laughs> yeah, it's kind of like, oh, excuse me. Yeah. <laughs> Got like a crawdad Paul sticking his his little <laughs> pincher out of the hole and just <laughs> grabs somebody. Yep. <laughs> just hangs on for dear life. Yeah. Come back here. Fourth down and 17. Higgins back to pass. Looks right. Under duress. He's uh -huh. sacked. And, and I think we're going to have a holding call as well. Yeah, we got a hold. <laughs> <laughs> I, I know you declined this one. Yeah, number 72 did a suplex on one of the defenders <laughs> over there, Braxton Birch. Yeah, what a, what a good hit. Yeah, the Cardinals take over on downs here. First down and 10, 34 to 7. It's been a fun season, everyone. It Isn't really that? has. I've enjoyed it. Cardinals trying to improve to 72 overall and protect their number seven national ranking. Think about it is if you can if you make the playoffs and you're going to make the playoffs with a win. If you can work your way through the playoffs and beat a say a Navarro or in a Tyler and then maybe a Kilgore, you've got a chance to make that final four and be in the national playoffs. That would be something else. I mean, you got that shot if you run through that stretch of games with wins. There's a handoff and. Got a new quarterback checked in, too, Diego Taylor. Uh-oh, Taylor. Taylor, the quarterback now. I think he's a transfer from UT San Antonio. Taylor from San Antonio. The Roadrunners. 
<laughs> yes, they are. Frank Harris has been the quarterback there for like the last 16 years, so not much room for a quarterback on that roster. <laughs> and let him throw a pass here. Oh, he got one. Oh. Title's oh, going to run. His feet. Does the smart thing. There, Sometimes you got to slide down. Very smart young man. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you got to slide. I would go down, too, if I, if I was going to get hit by three defenders. <laughs> Third and 13 for the Cardinals. 545 and counting. Fourth down, I mean, third down and 14. 14 yards to go. Let the play clock run down inside of 10 now. Oh, we'd like yeah. to jump. Like the Cardinals jumped on that. Well, it's almost a perfect game. Yeah. That, for the that, offensive yep, line. They did it. Got some of the other guys working in there. So with 520 left in this ball game, the Cardinal offensive line just got their first. Of the whole game. Yeah, their first penalty for illegal, not illegal procedure, but uh, false start. I'm surprised that they still use that terminology right. that gets me confused every time, <laughs> but there is no call officially for illegal procedure. No, there is not. Taylor uh -oh. with a pass, uh -oh. hits him in stride. That looks uh -oh. nice. That was a great catch. Yeah. Great throw, too. Mario Buffin again. Get him, Buffin. Taylor to Buffin. Brought down by Javon Morris. First down. Boy, I'll tell you what, that was just pretty. It wasn't a good throw. Yeah, right in the money. Thank you, son. Threw that with great confidence down over across the middle of the field. He did, stood tall in the pocket, too, and just rifled one down. Cardinals in no hurry. Like everybody's getting going out and going in. 24, Micah Cooper has checked into the ball game at the running back position. It's going to be a handoff. No, it's going to be Taylor on the keeper. He fooled me. Yeah, we got oh, play. my. Got a hold. Yeah, he was hitting the kidney area on that yeah, one. Yeah, you got to watch how you spin. <clears throat> Holding is the call. That official loves Bruce Field. He won't stay here a little bit longer. <laughs> <laughs> oh, boy. Still be first down for the Cardinals. But instead of 10, it'll be 20 yards. Yeah, he just barely got a piece of him and turned his body there on the instant replay yeah, we saw. Yeah, he didn't hit him hard. Just, just turn. Anytime you turn the defender for an offensive lineman, they're going to call that. It's an easy call to make. Absolutely. Back to pass. Tello and he. I don't know how uh -oh. he escaped that. He looked like Houdini. Got him. Passes downfield for positive yardage. Wow, what a play by the young man. Okay. I tell you, that was Mahomes' ass right there. <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> he improvised. Now we've got a uh, injured EDO player on the field with 3:34 remaining to go. Cardinals will be in the regional playoffs next week in the semifinals. They will be at home against Navarro. If Navarro beats Tyler this afternoon at 3 o'clock, they will be at Tyler if Tyler beats Navarro at 3 o'clock today. Got an injured Cardinal also. Let's watch this again. Ooh, oh, yeah, goodness. he was sandwiched. sandwiched. Mario Buffett yeah. was just sandwiched right there between two defenders. Took shots to the head as well. Oh, yeah, he kind of. Seeing stars and purple horses, <laughs> the green clover. <laughs> That's Lucky Charles. I'm trying to tell you, he wasn't lucky. Ain't <laughs> nothing lucky about that <laughs> one. Oh, man, look at this again. <laughs> this hurts me right here. Uh, Ouch. Uh, on his back and one in the shoulder. But the, the young man that hit him, number 26, was taken, <laughs> taken down by his own man sliding into him. And then that was also – and Buffin's going to come off the Buffett field hurt. on his own accord there, so that's good. His back, his shoulder, and everywhere. Yep, he's walking off pretty good. So nice job today by Mario Buffin. This, this might be his last water right here. Well, he, he knew he was going to get hit, and he, he, he took the hit. Oh my. Uh oh. 
Texas was up 27-7 in that game. It's 30-30 now going into overtime. Tello steps oh, up, throws down field. Incomplete little, too much. Yeah, that's a little too much. Look put pepper on it. Caliente pepper. I'm glad our clock operator doesn't have an itchy finger because <laughs> let three seconds go <laughs> that time. He's ready to go through, I think. <laughs> oh, my. <sighs> Cardinals within 313 and coming away with a 34-7 homecoming victory here to end the 2023 regular season. Oh, oh what a pass up. there by Tello. Uh-oh. Oh, my <laughs> goodness. Did a great job letting the young man <laughs> uncover, too, but from behind yeah. the defender. Yeah. All right, man. I'm a home in it out there. Put a little bit on tape, isn't he, for his next stop as well, a I, I quarterback. You, right. That's Ladarius Fair that caught that pass and did a good job helping his quarterback out. <laughs> Fell with a handoff to Cooper and Cooper did some second and base. Well, he, he didn't like what was coming in from the right <laughs> side, so he did a little side step. Here's and, another oh. flag come flying in. Well, of course there is. <laughs> Unsportsmanlike conduct against someone on any other side. I, I think he's going to call that against the, against the coach. Yeah, that's where it came from. Yeah, man. the coach is over in his ear. Giving him the business? <laughs> the business. Uh, the so, vocal business. So the official gave him the flag business, <laughs> and uh, right. all the business was taken care of for now. <laughs> yep, I think you're right, Joe. Tell you what, they'll be like lightning in the bottle getting off this field in a minute. Uh, no question. It's going to move the football down inside the 10-yard line, though, for the Cardinals, who really aren't doing a lot to score. I mean, they're just trying to run the clock out, and NEO keeps giving them penalty yardage. Yeah. They snap the ball here and pretty much get close to. But Tello's is going to try to throw. And now he's going to run as a lane. And he's going to stay in bounds. He was tackled at the six. So a good job by the line judge to uh, roll that arm to keep the clock moving. <laughs> down by Hoffman. Yeah. Down under two minutes now. We appreciate you joining us here on the Cardinal Sports Network this year for Cardinal football. Our first trip into doing football on the Cardinal Sports Network. I think it's been a success. We'll be back next year with, I'm sure. Three of us may not be, but <laughs> <laughs> the Cardinals. Yeah, we might not be. <laughs> they might kick us off now. <laughs> you never know. <laughs> oh, my. I didn't sign any contract. <laughs> <laughs> Cooper with a carry. Cooper. Coop. Does he get in? Yes, he does. Coop doing the dance. So, 40-7 to seven for the Cardinals now. Yes, sir. Ty Powers will come on to attempt the point after. How about Cooper getting in the end zone? He brought the sun back out. <laughs> well. yes, he did. And it's a shining. Tell you what, with that running effort, he he got the sun with him. But when he comes out, he comes out with a vengeance, doesn't it? Oh, it oh, does. Yeah. Uh oh, what a Cardinals look like getting on the field. <laughs> He's like, here I come. Thought we were turning out the clock. <laughs> yeah, well, so much for running out the clock. Powers kick is through the middle, splits the uprights good. 41 to 7, Trinity Valley now. 117 remaining to go in this contest. And Trinity Valley now. They in there like. They'll go into the playoffs. Yep, like they said, they in there like swim. Sure, yeah. Yeah. Forty-one to seven. I'll tell you what, this is a nice win for Trinity Valley. Yes, sir. Going into the playoffs, of course, they won at, at uh, New Mexico Military last week, 39-33. So before that, they played Kilgore. Kilgore wins 37 to 13 and snaps a three-game winning streak for Trinity Valley. So Kilgore and Tyler are the only two teams in the conference that has beaten the Cardinals this season. 
And the Cardinals hoping to get another shot at Tyler next oh, week. Oh, yeah. Well, yeah. or, or they, will, they will get us down the shot to either Tyler or Navarro. Though we know that much for sure. Yeah, three-point loss to Tyler. And, and listen, that Kilgore game wasn't as lopsided as it appeared because the Cardinals stayed in that ball game, you know, a lot there. And just couldn't generate any offense that day. Yeah, thought. they just couldn't. Just couldn't. Everything worked against them that day that could. It was almost like Friday the 13th on a Saturday. <laughs> well, like Pedro I said. Pedro Altamirano will tee it off for the Cardinals. Deep end over end kick will be taken. He's bringing it back. By the young man. Uh oh. Number three, Hayden Hack. Uh -oh. He's headed the wrong direction. <laughs> wrong yeah. direction. Got talk about a shoestring. Oh, my. No flags. <laughs> yes. So 108 remains in this contest. Your Trinity Valley Cardinals. Headed to the playoffs. Yes, sir. There's as no Benny, doubt about it now. As Benny alluded to earlier, you know, they, they went out here and they have a chance to make it into the national playoffs as one of the top four teams are already at number seven. And depending on what happens today, they could move up in the rankings. Very possible because other teams are playing, you know, they're near the, during their playoff season as well. Yeah. They need a little help and they may get it. Football's a weird thing. I'm telling you, you just never know, huh? Higgins gets the snap, and they're going to do the right thing and hand it off. <laughs> I, like what, <laughs> I like what they're doing. A little scrum going on there. Talk about a flock of birds. All right, we're under a minute left to play in this one. This thing is all sealed up for the Cardinals. Congratulations to Coach Poe and the rest of his coaching staff for having a fine season this year. Seven and two. Of course, we're all passionate about Cardinal football as we yes, are sir. about Malakoff football yes, too. Sir. And man, I, it, it's good to good to win, and winning makes things right. You hate to lose, but it happens as part of the game. But now Trinity Valley, especially that offensive line, starting to gel at the at best time possible. I think. Absolutely. Another run play. Well, unless any of decides to run another play, folks, that's going to wrap it up from Bruce Field here in Athens, Texas, down this homecoming game for Trinity Valley. The Cardinals are going to improve to 7-2 on the season, finish conference play at 5-2. NEO will finish 0-9 overall, 0-7 in conference play. The Cardinals will be in action again next Saturday. We're not sure just yet where. They'll either be here against Navarro if Navarro beats Tyler today or it will be in Tyler next Saturday if Tyler beats Navarro. So that's what it's come down to now. Just that one game, winning and winning you're in, and the loser of that game will not be in the playoffs. But the Cardinals are in, and that's all that matters. We thank you for joining us on the Cardinal Sports Network football. For Marcus Dow, Joey Snowden, and our talented Cardinal Sports Network crew, this is Benny Rogers bidding you good afternoon from Bruce Field in Athens, Texas. So long, folks. Later. Hello.